What's going on guys? National Master James Canty the Third here. It's Title Tuesday. I hope you hype because it's about to get started right now. So let's get right into it, guys. I hope you guys are ready. Well, we got like 20 seconds, but real quick, this is $1,600 prize, $1, prize fund. Three minutes, one second increment, guys. This is the format, 11 rounds. Today, Title Tuesday, three minutes, one second increment. And here are the prizes. $750 for first. For, uh, second place is 400 150 for third, and we got $100 for fourth place. Best female, $100. Best stream, $100. Dollars. Let's go. The games are starting, and we got a uh, half man, half everything else. Hikaru Nakamura and some other streamers, and of course, just like big time players today, guys. It's Title Tuesday. I hope you're excited today. So let's see what Naka does, because we always like watching Hikaru does do his thing. So let's see what happens here. We got a London system from Hikaru. Something different. Usually every single week, what do we see, guys? Especially if you're uh, you've been hanging with us for a while here on Title Tuesdays. We usually see a B3 at night of three systems, somehow a Nimzo Larson system, or just a Larson system, period. We usually see that from uh, Hikaru, but today we have a London system, so he's also thinking too. He might be just like playing in the chat or something, because he usually never moves this slow. I mean, he's like down on time. He's going to pick it up here. Hikaru doesn't think through the opening, guys. He doesn't think. James Canty rocks. Thanks, bro. To, uh, thoughts on mass tomorrow? I'm ready. Zoom in real fast. That was like a zoom real fast into my face. I'm ready. Saber on. C4. Nice move here. This is what they call usually the accelerated Londons. So the accelerated Londons are a little bit different. Well, you don't play C3. C4 is more aggressive in a way. Now, pawn takes probably doing something with the file with a smile here as we have the uh, C file open for white here. Now, if something like bishop d3, knight e4 is very tempting. It's a very strong move. It's very annoying as well. So let's see what happens and how he handles knight e4 if this is going to happen. Doesn't happen just yet, but knight e4 is definitely going to be played here. Definitely going to be played here. We in here. What's going on, Aaron? Yo, Aaron in the building. Knight b to d7, guys. We got to get our development going. No matter what, you need to develop your pieces. Every opening is the same, what I tell my students. You got to make sure you get these pieces developed. And that's what it's about right now. Development, 94 is definitely coming. Maybe rookie 8. He takes on G3. We do not approve that much because now there's this constant pressure here. Unless we play C5 or rook C8 now. But there's still constant pressure. Queen to D6. Still not playing knight to E4. Very, very surprising. He still has it though. He still has it. And B4, what a move from Hikaru here. Pretty cool looking move after queen takes B4 as rook takes C7 is the idea. Also grabbing some space and stopping C5. What a monster. What a monster. Thank you so much. Appreciate that uncut piano. All right, yep, uncut piano. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Yep, A3 stopping C5. Stopping C5. Maybe even knight B3 to even do it even more. But knight E4, like again, we come back to this move. This is such an annoying move. For white to handle here is 94, guys. A rook to c2, putting some pressure here. This is a very strong candidate master here from, oh, he's from Russia. Oh, that makes sense now. They're like born 2100 over there. That's why. So this is a, this is a tough game. I and mean, of course, it is Hikaru, whose uh, DNA is different from ours. But at the same time, uh, he is giving him some trouble here. So 94, there is that knight to e4. This other knight can come into f6, and in some cases, maybe even f5, stopping a potential g4. Why g4? Well, you could play g4, g3, king g2, rook h1, and put some pressure here on the h file. That's a long ways away, but it definitely is something that could happen. These are uh, doubling on the file here, and c5 has been played. Yeah, pretty good player. Born 2100s, I wish. <laughs> yeah, James Double, what's up, bro? Yeah, 2100s are... Uh very common i mean they come out they come out like that they just made that way in russia take take knight take c5 yeah this position is pretty equal pretty pretty balanced we would say pretty balanced i mean whitehead has a very nice file here but it can be taken away or at least challenged not really taken away a4 here expanding a little bit more on the queen side stopping this pawn from being hanging as well and again this knight is back on e4 so there's not a lot that you can do here black is an enemy territory here as we have crossed the line here with a very strong outpost for the knight knight d4 is a good one for white as well though so there you go yeah he goes knight d4 can't play f3 can't kick it because this is loose all the time so you have to play g4 to play f3, but that's probably never going to happen unless we remove this knight. So we are going into a real end game here. I mean, shout out to, you know, this guy here, uh, Candidate Master Shah Mat Shamat Kanal. Very strong today. Very strong playing against this man, Hikaru Nakamura. Hello, humans. Hi, Jedi James. I'll be with you tomorrow. Jedi Kanti versus Gotham Chess. Inzwell, the force is strong. The force is very strong these days uh, leading up to tomorrow. So 
It's going to be fun. Rook takes c2 and queen takes c2. So I, I honestly like white's position just because of the knight on d4. And this bishop isn't as great right here. It's just defending, right? So, of course, white's going to do his thing. Knight f5, very nice move, hitting g7 with mate. With mate and we great, right? So f6, maybe f6, that's kind of bad to make. It's kind of ugly when you have to make this kind of move. That's, that's like all he had. He had knight f6 too. And there's the g4 move. g5 being an intention. Can you play that? Can you really play g5? He's also making the knight much better. Well, now you got to sit there. His pawn's hanging. Knight d4. Very nice. Bringing the other knight into play while this bishop is now passive. Remember, it was already passive here. So like we said before, he just blocked the files here. And there's also 28 seconds. He jumped off the deep end here, guys. That's game over. He has jumped off the deep end, found the tallest building he can find, and jumped right off of it. Queen c3, snap, knight e7, and thank you for the peace, and have a nice day. This game should be over very soon with 20 seconds to go here. This is three minute, one second increment, though. One second increment. So uh, king f7. I mean, this is this is not easy, but you. I mean, this is uh, over in any way, shape, and form. What's up, Sith? What's going on? Nine seven seven. What's up, bro? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, very nice play here from uh, Hikaru here, and actually, it was he. It was very nice play from both players. I mean, he was just at one blunder. Queen c3 dropped a piece. Other than that, and he had he was in time trouble too. But he did give Hikaru a very good game. We will say that he gave him a great game. Deep end stretcher. Yeah. So you see it's not over over yet, right? Like he's still fighting here. This is hanging, but it's really not. He had king g7, then g5 takes, knight g4. Takes, takes, g4. This is good too. This is good. So hard to play Nakamura. So when you have to completely neutralize him, you realize you have 20 seconds left. Yeah, right? You know, that's a problem, right? I mean, you could be winning. Yeah, I'm winning. I'm over peace on Hikaru, but I got 10 seconds left. And he got a minute. <laughs> this is just not going to work. It's usually not going to work. Now we have seen Hikaru have like a, you know, tilt moments of he lost two or three in a, not in a row, but in a tournament, he lost like two or three in a row and just dipped out. Oh, is this mate? Is he mating him? No, it's not mate yet, but it seems like it because you don't have a check from here. It just seems so nice though, right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We getting real close, big fella. Don't do it to him. Not on the live stream here. Not on the live stream with the two knights. Night, night. Oh, my goodness. That was beautiful. Did you see that? Nobody does that. But Hikaru does. This is why I do Title Tuesdays. This is why I do the commentary. I love it. Get to see these games live like this. That was nasty. Has anyone ever done that kind of mate before? Shout out to Hikaru. All right. Hit that man with two knights. Night, night. Have a good one. Go to sleep. Wow, that was great. That was absolutely great. So let's check some more games. Oh, we have Andrew Tang here, guys. Andrew Tang, Bullet Phenom, Monster as well, guys. As you know, he's, he talks to the, his chat and plays 15 to 30 second chess. You know, try that for uh, try that out for size there. That's pretty tough. Now, this one, uh, it seems like it should be a draw. They say what all rookie games are drawn, especially with um, these pawns being the same on this side. Interesting. Let's see. Very interesting. We got this pawn. Can he come in here? Takes. Hmm. I don't think he can do that. Oh, this is hanging now, though. Takes? Kind of have to. Takes, takes. This is that one second increment. Yeah, yeah, this is drawn. This is drawn. They're going to keep playing on, though. That's some lovely commentary. Thanks, Ginger Nobleman. Nice. Beautiful mate. We are very fortunate that you do title to Thanks, Jackie. Alien. Yeah, this is a this should be a draw. Okay, how many times have we said that? This should be a draw, guys. Okay? Let's just the this should be a draw. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. This should be a draw. Moment of silence. Thanks, Jasta. This should be a draw. Okay? Should be. Don't hold your breath here. Hold your breath. I don't know what's going to happen. Dre.com was good, Dre. Andrew Tang is so like, this is a troll moment. This is a definitely a troll moment. I mean, you know, Andrew Tang's 3,000 here, 3064. And taking his draw against a 2472 is just as bad as losing. Because he's going to lose like, what, seven points for this maybe? We'll see. You can't flag him. It's three minutes and one second increment here. We're going to see what happens. 50 move rule is into place. 
So after 50 moves, if there's no nothing, they're still playing, it's just going to be a draw. So let's see. There's no pawns to reset the timer for the 50 move rule. You almost want to see somebody mess this up now. Like you really do. Now you want to. Because this is like, okay, bro. Okay, are you serious right now? This is probably the last game in this. Uh, oh, is this three games left? There's three games left. Getting some progress. <laughs> Getting some progress. Oh, man. All right. It's only two games left. And they still haven't hit 50 moves yet. Ah, uh, there it is. The 50 move rule draw. Yep, and there it is, right? Seven. So he lost seven points, too. Right on the dot. Lost seven points. That's just like, it's like losing, right? It kind of sucks to lose seven points. He had to go through that. Yeah, he was like, no, you got to show me this is a draw. That was like, yo, straight disrespect from Andrew Tang, bro. Straight disrespect right there. Yo, good luck tomorrow. Thanks, Lazy Chess. Appreciate it. So we have Knight C3 move one. And Hikaru did think for it. A few seconds there because i mean who you know it, guys i would think too move one who does this you know i still would probably play knight f6 honestly because i'm a king's indian player for life but knight c3 just is weird it's very weird we have this system oh now i just studied this theory actually it's supposed to be h6 here uh, there's many moves but h6 is one of the best followed by if captures of course knight takes yes c5 there we go usually they like h6 insert it first because the bishop on this side of the board it does not help with the defense on this side of the board if he chooses to go bishop h4. It also backs the bishop up, and you also could play g5 with the bishop going to g7 in some cases. I do like c4 here by Hikaru. Just closing it up, and now we're going to play b5. Maybe even now. Nope, not now. Knight takes b5 followed by knight c7. But queen a5 is a beautiful move with b5 being the intention. And then playing b4 takes on a2 and have a nice day. So that would be great. That was a great move, actually. This was sweet. He is strong. He's an international master, guys, from Chile. That's a good move, though. That's a really good move. Intention, if I take this, yeah, I understand. Sacrificing a pawn for counterplay. What is it? Uh, who says that? Gary. Gary Kasparov says uh, material. No, activity. Activity will trump material. So if your pieces are active, it's okay to sacrifice things. Just like this pawn here. This pawn here is sacrificed. If knight takes, we also get it back, so it's not even sacrificed. Now we might still be able to play b4. B4, knight takes, knight B6, I don't know, takes, takes, he's playing good, he's playing good, because you can't really get in yet, you're, you're trying so hard, so hard, but you're just, you're just right there, you're right there, because B3 looks really good, but it's not ready yet, it's not ready, and the best attacks are prepared, it needs to be ready, and it's just not, B4, knight E2, maybe you do go B3, queen C7, wow, that was a really bad move, according to the engine, that was just terrible. So, but it just doesn't look terrible, right? It doesn't look terrible. It's threatening, actually. No, that's not threatening. Bishop d7, defending everything, hitting the queen at the same time. But black does need a move here. So what do we play anyway? He plays bishop d7 anyway. We might be locking the queen in here in some weird ways. e5 and rook c8, but the queen has the b7 square. Weird enough. Play before it gets nasty, yeah. He's playing good here. Rook c8, I mean, this guy's playing really good. Queen b7. You could come out. That's probably worse, though. I mean, you're probably way worse coming out. But then queen b7, like, uh, you both feel bad. Both feel pretty wrong. Knight takes and b4 is very tempting. Very tempting. b4 and b3 being the intention. Maybe even rook g8 and rook g5. This move, interesting, right? Why h5? We're trying to get this bishop active. This reminds me of some of the Sveshnikov positions. If for all you Sveshnikov Sicilian players, I like the Sveshnikov Sicilian that was played in the... Uh, World Championship 2018, Magnus Carlsen and Fabi. Uh, the um, Sveshnikov Sicilian, very sharp play, very sharp play. Bishop comes out. You have f5 in some cases. Here, uh, we do need to use this bishop, so he is looking to probably play bishop h6. But you still need pieces. We need, how do we get here, guys? What? That's the question. How do you break this open? Now, of course, b4, b3 is very tempting. It's, it's definitely going to happen, but it's not going to win on its own. So we need more stuff. Bishop h6. Queen, yeah, queen a3 is garbage, so c3, I like that move. That was strong. And then bishop h6, that could be over. How do you stop queen h6? 
What do you even do about that? F4. Okay, I feel you. And he's just going to snap a pawn. I'll take a pawn, right? I'll take a pawn. That's a freebie. And then these are double, too. These are double. Both that attack's gone. It's not what we wanted, but we're happy. Two bishops, double pawns. We stole another pawn right here on F4. So we're not mad. You know, this is not a bad position. Also, white has to finish development. King side squares are weak. Not that we can exploit them yet. This bishop doesn't do anything by himself. So we do need other pieces here. King to c7. Hand castling, looks like. You clang in away. Activating the rooks on the file here. Bishop f1, shutting everything down. So we're going to need a new plan as black. We're going to need a new plan. Because this is shot, which means this rook is just chilling over here looking crazy. For no reason. Pog Champs is back. That's right. Hello, I'm Lux. Welcome. What's up, Trini? Power up. What's going on? Welcome to the stream. Pog Champs is back, guys, starting in Febs, February. Pog Champs is back. Move out, thank you. Yeah, this is a, honestly doesn't look doesn't look that good. I mean, it, it's hard. It's hard to play these kind of positions, guys, because these attacks, if you think that they're there, but it's not. This pawn's extremely weak, right? And my rooks aren't as active as we thought they were. But we are going to take this pawn. This one's probably going to fall now. There it is. Rook takes c3. Rook takes d5. Correct. That's felt. That's fallen. A6. So this is really a grinding game. But Hikaru is known for that. And he's up on time. So there's no, like, it, it, it's all clear skies here. King c7 stepping out of the pin for the win. B c4. That's a good move. That's a pretty good move. Trying to bully these. Trying to bully these. E5. I love it. E4 being a, a, a move. But he also has knight d4. So maybe we don't want to push that yet. So he tried to create a passer, but that was really bad. Because now the rook can come here. He has b6. But then I just step up. Yeah, rook b8 anyway. e4 is a move. He does allow knight d4, which brings the knight a little bit closer. Rook b8, and if b6, you play king c6. Actually, he had bishop b5, didn't he? King takes, takes, rook takes b6. So that wouldn't work. You're dropping a piece there. So bishop b5, hitting the knight. Check. Get out of the way. Pretty good. Still good. Bishop c4 is annoying. This one, no good. That one, that one was a little scary because we had this coming in. But this one, no, we're not worried too much. King c6, thank you for something. Give me something. Everything must go sale today. Something is going to fall. And that should be it. That should be it. So, Dizzy, thank you so much, big fella. No, it's um, it's a matter of time, man. I just got to get the norms and stuff, bro. But it's a long way. It's not easy, right? King takes c5, b7. That's not a move. Rook b8. Rook b8, big fella, and I guess start a new one. Oh, snap. Very tricky. It's also defended as well. Rook b2 check. Come around the back way. Just see if the front door was open. Actually, the back door was, so we came through the back way. Rook takes. Thank you so much. We queen in. Everything's winning. This is over. Another one for Hikaru. Look at him at the top here. We have Misha Nick as well. Azare uh, Azrezi chess? Az Azeri chess. That's uh, Shaq, by the way. Mamadirov. Big Fish. Uh, Fetisif, Jospom, Fair Chess on YouTube. I just played him the other day, actually. I think I, I won in a bullet game. Uh, that's not a move yet. Yeah. Yeah, very strong. Azerbaijan, yes, yes. He's, uh, I forgot, uh, Azari. Azari. It's just when you see it short, it like, throws you off a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Well, let's see who's left. We got some games. So, while interesting, Bishop F4 is winning. Yeah, just Bishop F4. Bishop f4 takes, takes, I'm queening. This should be over. Wow. Shout out to the FM. Shout out to the FM taking down the big dog. Look at that. That's what's up, man. Take those points. I'm with that, man. To Get those points, big fella. Get those points. How do you feel about your match tomorrow? I'm ready. I spent a lot of time in a hyperbolic chamber with my Jedi. So, you know, that's what a Jedi does. So, I was in a hyperbolic chamber, spent a lot of time in there. And I'll be spending time until tomorrow in the hyperbolic chamber. Nice commentary, big fella. Will you be doing some Pog Champs 3? Hopefully. Hopefully. James is by far a favorite commentator. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. So let's see uh, Let's see some more games. We have Ope here in here. Oh, wow. Oh, this is winning. Completely winning. Nice defending the pawn. And there it is. As soon as we come in, the game's over. But let's look at it just as a, a teaching purpose for you guys here. This nice defending the pawn. You literally never have to move this knight. I mean, maybe. Maybe so. Just don't hang it, right? Maybe you can in some cases. But we're just going to snap this pawn here. And then the game's kind of, I mean, it's not kind of. It's over here. We're just going to queen. So it's pretty, pretty easy here. Has a 25, 10 feet, a blitz. Wow. Paul Champs. That's right. Well, Lord. Oh, Jeffrey Zhang. Shout out to Jeff. What's up, Jeffrey? Um, he's doing pretty well. He's up upon here. Have some initiative. It looks like he's crushing now. Somehow he's just crushing now. Yeah.
Yeah, he's just crushing now. What specific preparation did you do for Levy, if you don't mind me sharing? I'll share it with you afterwards. After I can't do any talking right now. Just just hyperbolic training. Hyperbolic chamber training. So, all right. Uh, that was over there. Great game. Great game. How many games do we have left? Let's update the standings here. All the same. Looks the same. Okay. And uh, two GM on GM action here. Who's going to win this one? It's a draw, but it looks like white has more... I mean, you got this extra pawn. So, uh-oh, that didn't work. That was a bad move. So, how is that winning? He's just winning now. That was crazy. He messed it up. How did he mess this up? This looks winning. How is it messed up? Is this king really that close? Push, king there. Push, king there. King g7. I mean, king, uh, king, yeah, king g7. How is this drawn? Oh, yeah, that's how it's drawn. King e7. Dang. Oh, man. He got plus 10 for that. Oh, wow. His ratings, um, this is 25 12. It's kind of low for him. But it's all good. Please destroy every tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Jim Canty, Gina, Jim Canty, thanks, bro. Yeah, thanks for the Twitch Prime. Tori Vion here at the channel, chess.com. We appreciate you. Vlad's playing. Vlad's really strong. I haven't seen him in a while. Vlad did lose this game, though, to an FM. Dang, shout out to the underdogs like myself. Everybody out here, man, that's great. That's great. We love to see it. We love to see it. Clap it up for you, man. Okay. Yeah, he took him down. He took him down. That's right. That's right. Next round is starting. Ooh, let's go. Here we go. We got Hikaru versus Greg Shahadi. The man himself flexes his muscles all the time. We have Greg Shahadi playing Hikaru Nakamura. Well, this is going to be fun, but not for Greg, most likely. Not for Greg. But we're going to see. We're going to see what happens here. We have an Anglo English, meaning kind of a uh, the uh, the Anglo Englishes are more like anti anti-english openings and i'm a fan of those kind of things myself but let's see this i love this h4 h5 action i'm a big fan of the h4 h5 action hikaru is probably streaming his own game is there another is there another on there that's interesting uh you mean it streaming wise if streaming wise uh if that's what you mean do you mean streaming or you just mean game wise period h5 d4 I'm loving white's position bishop d3 is very tempting Maybe even taking on G6. Fun is not for Greg. Yes, it's not going to be fun for Greg. But, I mean, Greg knows this too. Like, he knows this. He knows this. Every time you play somebody like Hikaru, you just like, okay, what am I going to learn? That's what you want to do. What am I going to learn? Because, like, uh, anything, <laughs> you know, realistically, anything else, really, be real with yourself. Okay? Be real with yourself here. Play your best game at the same time. But what are you going to learn, right? So, losing is learning. Bishop to back to D3. And um, I'm trying to get to this file. I want to get to h7. We call this the drag and drop method in sessions. But you, you, you want to try to get the queen over here, right? So maybe this is the best method. Maybe even getting it to h4 and trying to get to this file as quickly as possible. Bishop g4 now stops any knight moves. So maybe, I don't know, honestly. This is not as easy as it looks for white here. Rook h4, I did like this move. And then maybe something like king e2 and queen h1. But like you're not leading with the rook. You can't even go there. So it's, it's very weird here. Losing the, There we go. Coach, chess coach in the building. What's up, coach? It's your boy, Hallelujah Cat. What's up, Hallelujah Cat? Go get Rosman. I am going. It was a great team name. Uh, 50 shotties of Greg. Funny. <laughs> Indigo Wilds, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Anybody win yet? I just want to check. Sometimes you get those quick wins. So it's okay to lose here. In like a, this, these are 11 round tournaments. So usually the ones that win are 9, 10, 10 and a half, you know, 9. Th those are, those, so usually you could drop two to three games you know max though max you can't lose no more than that so you know um you want to you know keep that streak as high as possible but it, it is difficult bishop g7 is a good defender that is correct for whoa hold up oh snap before we talk about this he played 95 with this bishop hanging with the queen hanging but his queen's hanging i think i think liquidating would help black to be honest because white is trying to attack, but if you notice, you can't attack if pieces are not developed. So on white side, white's actually down on development. So here, we did say it's not going to be fun for Greg here. But at the same time, Greg actually has a pretty good position now. Especially after liquidating some of the attack, this file is not scary anymore. So this bishop on g7, though, is an excellent defender, also attacker at the same time. But now, uh, I mean, Greg's doing pretty good here right now. What's the format? 11 rounds, 3 plus 1. That's right. Thanks, guys. Welcome to the stream of Vajelet. Vajelet. Yeah, Rook H4. 
he's I mean white's still pressing though. This is very strong. I think this is what's really helping him. Hikaru here. Um, just having this very, very strong center. So white C1, bishop is terrible. Yes, you are correct. And it is terrible. Thanks for pointing that out, chess kid 90. It is terrible. And he's trying to figure it out. Maybe put the bishop on H4. But these pawns here are actually, when you have a bishop that has the uh, pawns on the same color of that bishop, it makes it really bad. But the other might be really good. So it would be nice to trade this bishop for this one because this one would be extremely strong here. But I mean, shout out to Greg though. Like Greg pushing tight, ain't he? B par is good. Yeah. Hikaru is up so much time. That alone is winning. Yeah, yeah, he's up. I mean, you have to notice this every game too, guys. Every game, he's always up so much time. It may not be the shoot, the most accurate from Hikaru, but it actually is very close. Very close to the most accurate. But if it's not the most accurate, at least he's up a, an astronomical amount of time here. <laughs> like on every game, up a minute, up two minutes. That's a lot of time. In these uh, smaller time controls, especially with three minute, one second increment, then you start feeling the pressure like I am playing Hikaru, I'm getting down on time, and you start thinking about yourself and your life, and then like, why do I play this game? And then you just lose. It happens all the time. Uh, Rick, this is a great move. Great move. The intention was bishop e7, bishop f6, and he stops that with rook c6, bringing the rook to g6. So if trading, we connect our pawns. Very nice move from Greg. Greg is playing some great chess. Rook f1, rook g5, he's losing, bishop e7, he jumped, send that man a stretcher, oh my goodness, send it to his address, we have it on file, with a smile, that's not a move, big fella, that's not a move, but it does happen, it does happen all the time, all the time, when you're playing somebody like Hikaru Nakamura, gg, start a new one, start a new one, let's get that off the screen, this is a family channel, gg, start a new one, gg, wow, how's he playing good though, Greg was playing real good, my guy. Greg was playing real good. Epic commentary. Thanks, bro. Can't see H and G file. Yeah, he's playing good, though. Like, you gotta you gotta give credit to Greg, bro. Greg is playing good chess. And I know what he's doing, too. I know how Greg's studying. I know. I know. I'm not giving it to y'all. Send me a message. Maybe I'll tell you. But Greg is uh, definitely putting in work. And it is showing. It is showing. Not a move. That wasn't a move, bro. It wasn't a move. Where do you get uh, that? That's not a move hat. It's so good. It's from my channel, bro. Do they have the uh, host thing set up here? You can go get it from my channel. Canty, good commentary. Thanks. What's up, Karen? Yo, shout out to Karen in the chat. Karen and Ben. Ooh, that was nasty. Hold on. Let's go back. Yikes. Let's see that one more time. Rook takes f7. So the intention, if rook takes, guys, we have queen check back here. This bishop's helping with us. And then after king h8, hit that man with a move. Rook takes. Ouch. Forcing this. Bishop f6. Ouch. And then we come into the back rank. How you doing? Right. Game over. GG. Sweet stuff here. Shaq Memedyarov here is completely losing after F5. And he has 20 seconds on the clock. 3,000 going down to the 2683. That kind of hurts. That will lose a lot of points there. That's like a 12-point game. What's the max you can lose? I forgot. Does anyone know? We'll, 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 we'll see if he wins this game. We're about to see right now. What's the max points? I think it's like 12. When you're um, Greg Shahadi. Yo, there he is. Shout out to Greg. Yo, give Greg some props, bro. Give Greg some props in the chat because he definitely played a great game. We was talking about your game, Greg, and then you jumped off the building in the end. But you was doing real good, though. We was definitely saying you was doing great. Absolutely, Greg. Great job. Shout out to Greg Shahadi in the chat. 96. Queen G2. This is tough. White was winning. I mean, he's still winning. I mean, he's crushing, huh? He has his rook. That's why. Preparing for Levy James? Oh, you already know. I was in the hyperbolic chamber as a Jedi would because a Jedi could all day and every day <laughs> until today. It's been very, very uh, strenuous training. A lot of training. Knight of Fate, that's a beautiful move. Queen takes and he resigns and it's four. So it, I guess it's 16, guys. I guess this really is 16. Appreciate you, Mr. Canty. Thank you. Appreciate it. When's the mass tomorrow? 1 p.m. Eastern. Eastern, 10 Pacific. All right, let's uh, update the standings. See what we got here. Misha Nick with three. Did Hikaru, where is Hikaru? Wait a second. Did he just jump out? Maybe he left. Yeah, he had to like leave because he has three. He shouldn't be down here. I think he like dipped out. Anybody know what happened? I guess you... Uh, we, love your we love your commentary, Mr. Canty. Thank you. Oh, what a game. Yeah, what a game, right? What a game. Yeah, Hikaru is not there any longer. That's kind of weird. He's there, number 32. Oh, wow. That's I guess, I don't know what that was. That's kind of weird. But this is the third round. Still in third round. Let's check out Fetisiv. Very strong. Got a couple seconds on the clock here. 
Seems like this is a draw here. It looks like they're, they might be repeating. Oh, but uh, not for white. If I'm playing white, I'm going to play on because Fed Asleep is very low on time. But he is, he has not a fortress, but fortress by far, actually. He doesn't have a fortress. I mean, we can even start pushing pawns. But he's a uh, knight takes. He's trying to get this to work. He's trying to get this to work, trying to make him, you know, lose a little bit, little bit of time in the process. Maybe if this bishop moves again, then you push. Maybe he'll take a draw. I mean, this looks good, like, just to keep the time going. But this is that one second increment. So you can't, like, you know the flag techniques you use? Yeah, he took a draw. You know the flag techniques you use when there's no increment? When there's no increment, you just like, oh, just move. Oh, oh, he about to flag. But with the increment, if you do that and now you lose him, you're going to lose the game. That's the difference here. So that's the difference. So the guy he caught will play round first. Uh, that makes sense. Thanks, Sports Hefe. That makes a lot of sense there, actually. That makes a lot of sense. So we are moving into round four soon, and then we're going to take a quick break afterwards, guys. So stick around here. Stick around. Hope you guys are enjoying the commentary today. We are looking at title Tuesday. The big boys are playing today. So let's see. Uh, let's see this one. Black's winning this by far. That's nice. We're up two pawns. And it is a same color bishop in game. So it's all about finesse here. Opposition. A little bit of triangulation. Literally everything. <laughs> it takes a little bit of everything in these type of in games. This is not one. That's just like, oh, you do this. Like, it, it takes a little bit of everything. A little bit of opposition, a little bit of triangulation, a little bit of everything here. Did Jeffrey win his round? That's a great question. Oh, did he win that round? We did look at his game, but I don't remember if he won. It's Jeffrey X, right? Oh, I do see Hikaru down there. I don't see him. I don't even see him there. Pog Champs is back. Yeah, Pog Champs, guys. I hope you're ready. Ooh, nice. Three pawn trio here. King G4. Bishop around. Pushing. This is an easy one, folks. This is an easy one. It's a very easy one. Big Fish is strong. Yeah, that's Fed Asleep. This is the last game, by the way. So this one's going to be over, and we're going to move into round four. There it is. There it is. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. And that game's over. So we have a lot of threes here. Man, people pushing tight today. I mean, a lot of threes. Look at this. A lot of threes. Then we go into twos and two and a halves. But a lot of threes here. Round four is starting. Let's get right into it. Let's see who plays who. Of course, you know we have to start with Hikaru. We, you know we got to watch Hikaru's game. So let's see what happens. There's D4 on the board. Hikaru usually plays G6. Knight F6. But usually we've been seeing a lot of G6. There it is, guys. I mean... We've seen a lot of G6. Like, that's crazy. That's crazy. So, okay, G6. Okay, F5, pretty good. You also have H4. Yeah, H4, H5. H4, H5. But Hikaru doesn't fall for this kind of stuff. So, Queen A5, hitting C3. You do have Bishop D2. Wow. Wow, he just gave it to him. He does not care. He's definitely trying to disrespect this man. Definitely trying to disrespect this man, bro. Queen G7. Knight F6 is H6. Very interesting position. <laughs> you don't see this one every day. Like, this is one you off the head chest. This is straight off the head chest right here. So this is very hard to play sometimes when you have uh, these uh, very weird positions. This is extremely weird. Like, first off, where are you putting your king is white. So you're probably going to have to put him on f1 for safety reasons. Because you're going to probably open this game up eventually. Queen g6 with knight h6 being the intention. King probably looks a little safe over here. We do need to develop the rest of our pieces, though. Knight f4 is strong. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't like this for black. I do not like the black's position. Oh, my goodness. He's swinging at him. Look at him just botching the position up. e6. What do you do next? Oh, that's a good that's a good move, huh? Knight d3. Knight e5. You also have queen d2 for queen b2. To pressure him, but he's going to go rook f8. So, hmm. How do you bust this open here? Like, you see, this is winning, bro. How do we get in here? E4, ah, I like it. I like the ambition. But what's the next move? If he just takes it, maybe bishop e2? What's the next move? He is trying to blow this open. I do understand. Pawn takes. What's the next move? He castles. I don't like it. Hikaru is jumping off the deep end on this one, big fella. Whoa. Hikaru is getting in trouble. Hikaru is not loving this position by far. And he just closes up the file. Oh, my goodness. What is he doing? Somebody talk to you, man. Somebody get him on the phone, please. Somebody get him on the phone. E5? This. Why would you shut down the best piece on the board, guys? Let's learn from this. Don't ever do this again. Don't try this at home. 
Don't try this at home. Why would you do this? Look, and then he's going to put his king and laugh at you. He's laughing at you. He's laughing at you because his king's on H8. Asking you, how are you ever? Okay, well, now that's a something's wrong. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. Engine smells something here. What is it, guys? Engine smells something. Something's definitely wrong. Doesn't look like it, though. Looks are very deceiving in chess because, like, everything's closed up. Everything's closed up. So there's no, like, sack, sack. Like, you want you want to try to get this to work, but it doesn't work. Like, you don't have enough. Maybe maybe it does. Hold up. Rook takes, takes, knight takes e6. And then I'm opening the file with a smile, okay? Because that's going to be uh, the diagonal, at least. That's going to be nice. Rook takes, snaps, knight takes e6. I'm hitting the, the rook. Yeah, he's not allowing it no more, but I think that, I mean, you might as well go for it, you know. If you're playing car rook, you don't get this chance all the time. I mean, you might as well go for it. If if any can defend this, is car rook. Yeah, correct, correct. Well, now, I think that chance is definitely going now. That diagonal, it probably worked. I mean, you had that 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 push there. Now, Hikaru has, you know, got all his pieces out and neutralized some things. And now, Hikaru is going to uh, run away with this one. He's never going to allow you to get this. Maybe play G3. Make it very solid, though. Ooh, yikes. That's a good move. Maybe Rook C1 now. You might have to use this Rook. Oh, you can't even. No, you can. You could move that. That is defended. That is defended. This is hanging, though. Ouch. Ooh, yikes. Ooh. Man, that's such a, such a beautiful position, right? He has such a beautiful position, and it's just over now. He got too much time. He's so solid. Yeah, but also you have to give a uh, shout-out to the FM Reader 777 here, playing Hikaru, because he's not like he, everybody else been down, what, how much time? You know, Hikaru been up a minute every game. Now he's only up like 30 seconds, which is still a lot of time. But, you know, you have to give him some credit here. This guy is playing pretty good. Pretty good. Now, with this being said, now I think this is uh, practically over. Now, being down in exchange, it's a very hard game to come back from now. You, you close the file. I know he's kicking himself like, ah, I can't believe I did that. What was I doing? You're playing Hikaru, and you were probably scared for your life, and that's okay. It's very human-like. Very human-like. For us humans, not Hikaru. King g8, knight h5 is rook take, so that don't work. I mean, you might as well just start a new one. Like, that would be easier probably. Start a new game here. It's pretty hard pretty hard yeah king b2 I, you know i like the fact though that if you look at white's position you have to ask black how are we going to progress right because if you just kind of shuffle like he's doing this is defended this is defended you can't put another attacker on this piece you're going to have to either sacrifice the exchange and give it back or try to break through on this way which both don't seem like they work yet maybe he'll try rook g6 we don't really know he's playing h5 to shut down i think this idea in a way other than that, though, White's doing good by just shuffling. Maybe. I don't know. You got to find the right way to shuffle, though. You have to find it. Like, you can't make the wrong shuffles because, like, then, you know, this could be a problem for you. Sometimes e engine evaluations are definitely uh, uh, a – they're wrong, <laughs> to say the least. Sometimes they're wrong in these positions here. It's just sometimes they don't understand certain positions, which is kind of crazy to say. Like, engine doesn't understand. But – that's actually kind of crazy to say, but it is correct. Sometimes they don't understand positions if you can't break through and, and stuff like that here. But uh, um, material-wise, Black's definitely winning. They, they have the exchange. We just have to open this line, which I'm seeing A6, B5 being a thing. They will hang the C5 pawn, but the king is here on his sex ray. So you do have to open the file with a smile here. Knight to G2, though. It's an interesting move. Maybe Knight H4. Hikaru is, this is the lowest he's probably been on time. That says a lot. I mean, yeah, 45 seconds. He low. Like, you know, that's uh that's a lot of time. 45 seconds. But especially with one second increment. This is the lowest he's been, though. He's really trying to figure this out. Yeah, I think this knight had to stay here. He kind of had to keep him there. No matter what, like he had to keep the knight there. Because now black has everything. Like, we're gonna snap this, which gives us some extra material to do stuff. Can I take this? He does. He takes it. He takes it. Now we might have, I mean, we got some potential here. Look at Hikaru getting low on time. Nowhere near, well, maybe not. I mean, he's, he's close. 16 seconds, 26 seconds, one second increment here. Oh my goodness, he's losing. How? Where? What? Queen F3? Did you see the engine go crazy? Oh my goodness. Did you see the engine lose his mind just now? The engine lost his mind. He must have missed the move, bro. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. That is crazy. He missed that, bro. Queen F3 check. Woo -hoo. 
I never really watched this. That kind of stream is just, oh, thanks, Austin. Appreciate it, bro. Welcome to the stream, bro. Oh, man, that was over. That was over. I know Hikaru was, like, laughing. He's probably on his stream right now talking about Queen F3. I'm sure he's streaming right now, so definitely go check him out. Yeah, this is completely over now, but, man, I know he was like, yo, I was getting crushed, bro. Like, yo, he was smashing me, fam. Oh, man, you don't get two chances. Yeah, you don't, bro. You don't. He will not give you that chance again. He will not give you that chance again, guys. Yikes. Oh, he's not streaming? Oh, I thought he was streaming. Okay. Cool, cool. Well, make sure you follow his stream, though. Oh, wow. what is... Hold on. This looks like a weird... This looks like this doesn't even make sense. It feels like he was in check, but he's going this way, just so you know, guys. He is not in check and making a move. But how does this happen? How is your king all the way over here? Where did the rest of the pieces go? How is this here? <laughs> what is this position? What is this? I don't know. I don't know. But White definitely won that one. Okay, GM on GM action. Here we go. You gotta hit that follow button. That's right. Hit the follow button here too, guys, so you know every time that this is live. King takes um white is definitely pushing for a win. Definitely pushing for a win. Especially with these passers, two of them, versus the pieces. As you see, that's a win there, guys. Yeah. He's gonna run out of time there. He's gonna run out of time there. Dig the new camo cap, JC. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Yeah, I got some new caps from um from the Streamlabs store. Cool. Got some more games here. GM on GM action. This is definitely interesting, guys. This is what they call compensation. That was losing completely. Oh, he missed it. He missed it. It's hard to see this stuff. I mean, he only got, what, three seconds left? He's about to flag. How do you flag? You need to move. All you got to do is move. You got to, bro, one second. You get that increment, man. Come on. Oh, man, that's tough. That's tough. Qualifies for the strangest chess position of the year, says Quinn. That's right. Drag the queen to F3. Best of luck for tomorrow's match. Thank you, Parth05. I appreciate you. Thank you so much here. We have a few more games before this round is over. This one should be, okay, guys, should be a draw. It should be a draw. But when you have this kind of chess sometimes, something happens. Okay, there's a draw. Cool. That was a real draw. We have two games left here. This one should be a draw. Should be. It's usually a draw with King and Knight anyway, but with this extra pawn, it's definitely a draw here. Oh, he almost flagged. You should have played King G1. That was the only move. King G1. This should be a draw once again. Usually you have to keep the Knight two squares away from the King. Two squares away from the King is some of the best ways to do it. This might be, you might be in trouble though. I don't know. Okay, he's off the back rank. That's cool. That's cool. We got to shuffle around. Two squares away is usually the key. Two squares away. King over. Two squares away. Yeah, just reroute it. Just reroute him. Come back to life. Civilization, come right back. Sit around the king. There we go. Yeah, you can run. Oh, you can't go that way. But you can run around this way. Ooh, king b2 loses. Check. He's on the back rank. Uh-oh. He might be in trouble. This is always the hardest when he's on the back rank. His job is to try to get him off the back rank. Come back around. If there's a check, we run. Come back around. Swing at him. This is a draw. He's doing well. He's doing well so far. Come back around. That's a good move. Knight f3. Bring the knight back down. Can you go here? You have to go here. You don't even have a move. You got to check him. Go back. Go back. Great job here. He holding this. He's holding this job, bro. <laughs> Look at this big fella working. There you go. Yeah, this is how you hold it. This is how you hold it. There you go. Let's go. Let's go. We got that. Yeah, the, that, he earned that draw. That was great. That was great. Make sure you know your king and knight and rook in games, guys, because that was definitely a draw there. And with that one second increment, it helps because uh, he would have flagged without it. He would have helped. He would have flagged without it, guys. So let's take a quick look at the standings here. We see uh, a lot of fours here. The car was up there, of course. We got Castor. A lot of fours, yeah. So, um, but we're gonna start round five right when we, uh, right when we come back, guys. But uh, thanks for sticking around. So. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere, guys. Round five is going to start right after this. So we'll see you guys in a minute.
Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. It's round five. It's Title Tuesday. Let's get right into it. Let's go. Let's get right into it. Here it is. Here it is. Okay, cool, cool. So we have Hikaru versus Castor in the in this round. This is round five. Both of these guys have 4-0. So let's see it. And we do have now a Larson system. B3, E3, Knight F3. This is some, or a ready kind of thing, but this is what he's used to. So he's, um, we've seen a lot of this from Levy, actually. A lot of this. Uh, I mean, from Hikaru, said Levy. I'm ready for tomorrow. Can't tease the What's up, Audio Titan? Welcome to the stream, bro. We in here. Let's go. Let's go. Good things. Okay, cool, cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right, so let's get to this game. So here, uh, D5 has been played. Black is just saying, I'm going to have a strong center just like you are. Just like you are, yeah, Quinn. Welcome back. What's up, Ginger? Ninja Nobleman, c4, but that does open his bishop, so probably not, probably not, yeah, knight f1, and then knight to g3, maybe put the knight on f5, this bishop is a monster here, it's also going to help with sacrifices here on the g7 square in some cases, so knight g3, knight f5, and at some point, sacrificing on g7, just not ready yet, so he plays bishop f5 and says, I want to keep the bishop here and not give it to you, so if g6, not only does it weaken the diagonal, but then I have to back up here. So kind of a bittersweet thing. d4, I really like this move. Now a knight has a better square to go to, and my bishop line is open. Castor is playing some great chess right now. He's definitely trying to push die here. Also keeping great on the clock. I mean, there's a reason why he 4 out today. You know, now, of course, he is not Hikaru Nakamura. But at the same time, you know, he does, he's a grandmaster, and he has a very, very good position right now. He is fine. He has shut down his bishop, which Hikaru needs to play c3 probably at some point to break this open, make this pawn a little bit weaker. So he goes knight e5. Interesting move. I wonder what the follow up is or what the intention is. I mean, honestly, just putting the knight on e5 is a good move, right? But you also have other good moves, maybe knight to g3 as well. I wonder why he chose knight e5. Interesting. Legendary double bishop sacrifice? Yeah, that was, uh, who did that actually? Uh, Judith Pogar? Judith Pogar versus Karpov. It was Judith or Susan. Double bishop sacrifice on the king side on g7 and h7 versus Karpov. c3, take to eight. Bishop b2, just back it up. Back it up. Now everything's open. This is a very open game. It's about to get crazy. It's about to get crazy. There's bishops everywhere. The rooks can come to the files. You know, this knight's a very strong one. I see sacrifices coming. I don't know when, but something's definitely about to happen. Knight, eight, knight c4. This knight on f1 is a very passive piece, but it's also a very, very, very good defensive piece, guys. h2 is defended. The g3 square is overprotected now. I do like these bishops. Ooh, Carl has the better bishops here. These bishops are monsters. These bishops are good too, but these are a lot better. Question is, how do we capitalize on the advantage is the question, and that's what he's trying to figure out here. Queen f3, putting himself in a voluntary x-ray, but at the same time, this bishop is now pinned. Never heard of GM Rodrigo Vasquez? This guy is strong. Oh, yeah, him? Castor, yeah. Absolutely. Insane. It was epic. Let me just make a video about it. Really? Oh, nice. Sweet, sweet. G6, bishop h3 really i was gonna back this boy up this way oh but maybe not yeah knight b4 bishop c2 and bishop b1 is ugly so i guess he had to settle for like what's the worst best move <laughs> who have you ever asked that before what's the what's or what's the best worst move <laughs> what's the worst best move or what's the best worst move here so yeah because this bishop had to come back here Bishop c2 would have been fun, but he did have knight before. Rook a7 is very interesting defending this bishop here. So now we can move this knight. But he says, not yet. Hold on. We still going to pin you up a little bit. Knight e3, strong move. If knight takes, are we taking the queen or are we taking the knight? I think we should take the knight, but this is a possibility. And then take the... Yeah, you, you, this is just better. This has to be better. And then queen h6 is now pressure. Oh, I'm chilling. Can I just chill here on h6? It's not enough. It's not enough yet. Queen h6, bishop f6, takes, takes. Not enough. Not enough. So close. I know Hikaru feels it. He feels that it's so close. And he's actually down on time. Like, how, how often does that happen where Hikaru's down on time? He's actually down here, guys. But uh, 
Queen H6. Yeah, it's there, but Bishop F6 is real. And then uh, takes, oh, Bishop D6. Nice little sidestep. Nice little sidestep. Rook E8 is like basically forced. So what happens after Rook takes E8? Takes, takes, and then what? Takes, takes, and I need a move. I need a move. Maybe I just don't take it. Maybe take on C5. Maybe do that instead. He's talking with the chat and chilling. I'm just chilling with the chat, you know what I'm saying? Bishop takes rook a6. I wonder if this is better. Oh, he jumps. That's not a move. Oh, he made. He only made. Queen f8 is... Oh, my goodness. He missed mate. Queen f8 was made, bro. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hold on. Let's put that on the screen here, guys. Queen f8 is mate. And we great. Oh, my goodness. It's right here. On the board, Maiden 1, missed by Hikaru Nakamura. He is, look, I told you guys, right? He's half human, half human. The other half, we don't know what he is, but we know he's half human. And that was the human side right there. That was the human side. I hope it made you feel better there. I hope it made you feel better about your game, okay? Wow, he just hung mate, hung mate. That doesn't happen all the time, right? That's not a move. That was not a move, Fury Fist. That was not a move. That was not a move. It made it a lot harder for him now to try and win this game. He was definitely winning there. Miss Maiden 1, guys. Oh, this is crushing, though, right? Oh, wait, maybe not. That's a sweet move. Tank Castor is strong. Oof. This guy is very strong, but he did aim. He hung mate, though. Man, this guy's strong, but he hung mate, though. He really did. He hung mate. Uh, oh, that's a piece, right? Am I not winning a piece here? Am I not winning a piece? I'm not winning a piece. Jeez. Oh, I am. But this is, uh, this is, oh, he messed up. Oh, my goodness. Yo, what a game. What a game. Rook C5 would have been picking up the piece. He missed that here. Objectively, it should be a draw. It should be a draw. Pawn's on the same side. This is not enough. It should be a draw. But let's see what happens. The whole world feels a little bit better. Yeah, no, I I, I would too. Shoot. Hikaru missed made one? Yeah. You know what? I can do this. I can't play this chess thing, you know? Bishop g5, king f7, yeah, this is a draw. It should be. It should be. Let's see what they do, though. They are going to shuffle this around. Hikaru will play this game out if it's king versus king, you know, and chess.com doesn't stop it. He will play it out king to king, I promise you. So, let's see what happens. Even with 3-1, like, yeah, I know. I'm going to try to flag him, though. I'm going to try to flag him. Bro, it's only kings. I'm going to try to flag him. I'm going to try to flag him. With the one second increment. Check. King F7. Same stuff. Same stuff. It's going to be a draw. Love Chess is definitely the most exciting sport. You know what? That's uh, There's a lot of people that won't say that. But that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Period. There's a lot of people that might say otherwise for other sports. But I agree with you in some ex to some extent. You have to make it exciting. King B3. And it is exciting, too, if you really love it. King here. Rick here. Uh, honestly, there's no way to make progress. No way to make progress. We just like naming the moves. Like, what is he doing next? Oh, Rook H1. What is he doing? Nothing. There's nothing to do. There's nothing to do. Bishop G5. Knight check again. King F7. You would think the Rook would be locked in, but he's not. He just gets out this way. Like, there's, this is super drawn, guys. They're probably... And then they have pawns here, so this, this won't go to long the 50 moves, you know? Once 50 moves happens, or before 50 moves happens, we're just going to push the pawn and restart the 50 move rule. Sport. <laughs> it's interesting. It's plus two, but a draw. Yeah, you see? Remember we talked about this earlier, right? Sometimes the engine just doesn't understand. But here, I mean, this this looks like it because I think we can get this in. Yeah, he's, he's definitely making some progress now. He's definitely making some progress. Uh, you can't play bishop f6 now. Honestly, yeah, I don't know how this is plus plus two, plus three. This is very hard to play, guys. The engine sometimes is confused. And it can figure stuff out, but that was very hard, right? Oh, is that? No, okay, it was black. It was black to move. There it is. Yeah, there's the draw, 50 move rule. Was it 50 move rule, or was that a... Is this something else? Five out of five. Look at these guys going off. Five out of five. It's only a few of them. Not many. Not many. Exotic Princess. That's uh, Jobaba. Jobaba with the five piece. Nice job. Jobaba. We got three three games left in this round. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, this is over. You just hate the queen. Yeah, GG. 
Why are you still playing this? Oh, he takes that way. Wow. Oh, he was queening. Oh, I didn't see that. Nobody knew that. 50 move rule? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That was a draw there. This one. Winning. Yeah, the end games are the hardest, right? Was you just supposed to push the pawn? And King's cut off. So you could have just pushed the pawn. Yeah, messing this up. You got to study your end games, guys. This rook is cutting the king off. So you really have to focus on getting the king down here and then Lucina them. Um. Lucina them. Um. <laughs> Lucina them, right? You have to do the Lucina afterwards. Lucina position. It was very, very uh, hard to do sometimes. It depends on how you get it and where. But uh, that was the that was the key to that end game there, trying to get the Lucina position. And in this position here is a draw. It should be a draw here. There's literally nothing to do. Like, they're going back and forth. Back and forth. You got a YouTube or just Twist? I do have a YouTube, Austin. Same thing. You can find it from my Twitch channel. Or you can just type it. Search it, too. But, uh, yeah, that's a draw. Another one, and that's round five. Let's look at the standings real quick as we go into round six. Yep, five out of five. Great job for these people with five. Great job to everybody, of course, up here in the top leaderboards here. Hikaru was right behind everybody. Four and a half. Doing great. No losses. No losses here. And now we're going to take a look at see some other GMs here. We're going to take a look at the fives. We're going to take a look at the people holding it. I love your style. Thank you, Briatus. Appreciate it. Thanks for the entertainment. Thanks for being here. We appreciate you. <laughs> Hikaru Blunder made one. Yeah, we was talking about it. We lost our minds real quick. I almost fell off the chair. Couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. Castles, castles. Knight C6. Knight to C3 here. This is a Grunfeld. I actually liked the Grunfeld at first, and then I found out how much theory it took and how hard it is to play. And then I was like, yeah, I'm not doing this. So I'm King's Indian for life. King's Indian defense. But uh, there's a lot of a lot of theory to this. King's Indian is a lot of theory too, but, you know, it's um, something to it. So E4. Let me see. Should we move the knight? That was a good move. He took the piece, and then he played E4. That was very, very good. That must be some theory there. Because that was sweet. I mean, looking at this here, after knight takes, instead of taking my piece back, I play e4. So not only am I going to grab my piece, but I'm going to put this uncomfortable pressure on the d4 pawn. So he says, I'm going to take your e4 pawn, and now we're going to centralize. But now we're equal. We're at least equal here. With the black pieces. Yes, theory. Yeah, yeah. I figured that much, too, because I'm not a, a um, Grunfeld player. Not a good, good fill anymore. Standard 2490, Rapid 2490, 2540, Blitz. Nice. Nice job. Nice job. So um, I like Black's position, to be honest. I mean, Black's just doing great. I have my bishop. Everything's developed. Everything centers around development. So you need to make sure you develop first. So get your pieces out develop once you do that then you can do everything else now this bishop is a monster and we are threatening to double the pawns here but at this case we will be giving up the light square bishop which puts holes around our king here and that's something we don't want to do by far so it just depends on what kind of position you have and maybe if we trade queens then this would be a possibility to capture and put the rooks uh rook on the file with a smile here to be able to bully these double pawns that black will have queen to b4 and queen c1 in a passive position but at the same time playing bishop h6 trading this strong bishop and black can't do the same right now so bishop h6 it looks like the intention here uh he plays rookie one just to defend it not sure why i mean not not sure like what's what would happen right but you want to put some extra protection on it even though the knight was defending rookie one's doing a great job maybe bishop h6 now actually that loses after knight c2 after an exchange on h6 so that would be no good e3 but then you can't play bishop h6 anymore when they cross the line they got to go I tell students this all the time this is the line right and both sides anything that crosses needs to go these this is going to get ugly if you keep these here if these stay here this is going to get real ugly so you need to be careful you know i'm cheering for you can't thank you james e welcome uh thank you appreciate that hey carl miss maiden one oh yeah it was clipped Miss Maiden one that made that made one was like wow he missed it can't believe it and he did it and I was hyped I was like oh my goodness wow but after knight e four you do have knight f six or bishop f six if knight f six you do have king h eight not touching this knight at all just playing king h eight so bishop f six might be a little bit more appealing to be honest but if knight f six king h eight yeah he's just kind of sitting there 
Maybe I could go queen f4, queen h4. But now he's playing f6, stopping anything. That plan is out the window now. So bishop d2, we're going to probably reroute. Probably reroute. Let's use a better way. Huge fan, Canty. Good to see you on the chess channel. Love to be here, man. Love to be on the chess channel. Glad you're here today. Welcome to the stream, bro. Thanks. What's your opinion on Trumpowski? It's annoying. It's annoying. That should be enough for you to play it right there. I play the King's Indian Defense, and when I see the Trumpowski, I try to make it as weird as possible for the Trumpowski player. So I play stuff that they just usually aren't used to seeing. Because the Trumpowski already is going to throw you off playing Knight of Six. So, um, and I'm sure if you play, if you're a Knight of Six player, you hate to see the Trumpowski. So, you know, I play stuff to like, okay, cool. You want to play Trumpowski? You're not going to like this then. So I'll play Knight E4 immediately, and I just like do weird stuff. Now, of course, that could backfire if you're just like acting crazy out here. Don't do that. You know, you need to have some, <laughs> you got to be smart about it. But yeah, I do play it a little differently, a little differently. Uh, I've had good results with it because the stuff that you study from some Trumpowski books don't actually work from some styles or it, it, do, it doesn't feel good or you're not getting comfortable positions. If you're not comfortable, you play bad chess. So, you know, you got to be comfortable. Something you like. Levy plays Trumpowski. Yeah, I already know that. <laughs> I know what he plays. Yeah, he does. He, but he plays everything. Like, Levy has a very, very wide repertoire. Knight b4, uh, c6. Bishop takes b3, taking on c6. c5, knight d5. Man, this is not good for white, to be honest. I don't like... Like, I'm just passive, you know? My bishops are a little passive. This is threatened. I don't like this always looming. This pawn's kind of hanging. With so many things going on, it's hard to defend all of them. So you have to be very, very accurate. You can't even take this pawn without being pinned right now. He just shut down the bishop. So it looks are very deceiving. Of course, the engine says, yes, it's roughly equal. They do prefer black. But minus 1.8, honestly, this is like equal, to be honest. But we do prefer to be black in this position here. Uh, queen, there it is, f5, hitting the rook. Well, at least probably, oh, you can't. Yeah, you could play rook d1. Maybe rook c1. But then b3 still hanging. Like, what? Too many things. Like, there's too many things. Rook c1. I figure so. Knight to d3. I'm just very passive. Maybe put the... Ooh, can't go there. Okay. Bishop's hanging. Rook d1. Yeah, you just on defense here, man. This isn't funny. This is some cool... <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Levy plays everything. <clears throat> Levy's very wide repertoire-wise. That's good and bad, though. You know, it's good and bad. But it's uh, at the same time, it's a lot to prepare for. You know, but I mean, I'm not wide rep. Uh, like, I'm not... I play a lot of the, uh, different lines of different of the same thing. Uh, different lines or this and that. Tactical, weird stuff. I like playing weird stuff. When you play weird stuff, you always have an advantage. If you know it. If you know it. Now, just be honest, playing weird stuff because you heard me say it. Like, oh, man, you can't simply weird stuff. You know, you have an advantage. And then you get crushed every game. Don't know, don't know what you're doing. Knight of four. Good move, actually. But black, can you just take this? I think I'm just taking the rook, right? I don't know if that's in this conversation. Five seconds here for Jimmy Dimitri, and he takes on D2. Is the decision here? We're going to take on D2 no matter what. Pay me taking on D8. Uh, maybe keeping a rook, honestly. These pawns are a little bit too far advanced, or this one is. So we need to keep rooks on the board right now. Takes bishop c4, maybe, just to kind of chill a little bit. Interesting game. Rook d7. You, you, you still like black slightly. Slightly, right? Just because of this pawn. That's the only thing. But it's hard to queen it now. Only thing defending it is the bishop. Rook d8. Nice move. Get out of the way. Tough game. Tough game. Tough game. What are we doing? Rook takes d7 probably. Bishop d3 instead. Can't really do much, guys. We're just shuffling in a way. Trying not to lose. That's kind of that's a hard position to be in. Just trying not to lose, you know. Trying to lose here. Maybe take that. Uh-oh. This is nice. My king gets around. Maybe a draw. What you thinking, guys? Draw? We got a passer. We got a passer in the center. The king can get around. I think we can finagle this. I'm. There was a draw offer, and he just took it. But, I mean, I would have tried to finagle a little bit. I mean, just play on. Oh, but this is be hanging, huh? Yeah, you can't do that. Yeah, these pawns are all on dark squares. So... If you push one, then these are going to fall. So, yeah, it makes sense. All right. Drawn. Drawn. Drawn game. Boring. Boring. Go to sleep, right? But you rather, you know, draw than, draw than lose, right? Draw than lose. 
I'm about to say like, does he not know this? Come on now, don't do this. Uh, all these people watching right now. There we go. He found the win there. Classic end game. King versus pawn. Very easy way to play. We got a few sixes here. Shout out to the sixes. Wow. We only have a few. Four sixes here. Hikaru, did he win his game? He should have five and a half if he won. It might be still playing. Maybe he didn't win. Maybe he didn't win. I don't see him. Don't see him. He got a draw. Show where Gray had the draw. I think he drew. I got a draw. Interesting. What's happening here? This is equal. This is equal. Hitting this. Queen B2. I was about to say. Oh, that loses. Dang, I thought that was good. Oh, man. Somehow that was straight up losing. And now he's. How is this losing? How is this losing? That was equal. Wow, this is crazy. Somebody getting made it or something. And it may not be. Oh, he flagged. Oh, my goodness. He flagged. How do you flag in this position? The man flagged. He flagged. How do you do that? One second increment. He flagged. All you got to do is move. Just move. I mean, it's this is a simple one. It ain't that simple. But you do have two queens. Dang. That hurts, man. That hurts to see. Moving real fast here. Very strong WGM. 26-42. Nasty, bro. She strong, strong. Strong, strong, bro. And then Karina Chess here. I mean, look at 24-94. Strong, strong. Okay. Real strong. Check, check. This is a this is an easy one. I don't know why she's playing this out. Nice hat. Nice hat. You got there, James. Thank you. Appreciate it. There it is. There it is. A respectful resignation there. Respectful resignation. And we're going to see what the standings look like. Six is here. Some five and a halves. Hikaru does have five. He did take us a second draw there. So now let's see the next games. Check the top dogs here. Sixes. Both of these guys have six here. D4 is on the board. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Okay. Bishop G5. We have a Tory attack. So for Indian players, Kings Indian, or any any player that plays Knight F6 here, you see even, even Black Froze here for a little bit. Now he did play B6 here, but the the Tory attack is 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 annoying, honestly. Recently, when you get stronger, the Tory like certain openings get harder to play against. When our Paul Champs starting in February, but it's uh it's usually harder to play openings that are a little bit weird, like you know, Trumpowski, Tory attacks, Collies, weird stuff. When you get when they get stronger and when you get stronger and you play stronger opponents, those openings get a little bit harder to play. Tory attack is one of those. It is one of those. The Tory attack, yes, it's uh, spelled T O R R E. T O R R E. Tory, Tore, whatever. Tory attack, but it's a it's a very annoying one, honestly. Very annoying. And there are ways to play against it, many ways, of course, many many ways. But it's not easy, to be honest. Once you get stronger, you got to find different ways to play against it. Playing the main line stuff isn't the best sometimes because this is more main line stuff. And white still has a lot of space here, as you can see. You prefer to be white in some cases in this position. Now these pawns actually look pretty good, though. I think black has a nice center, to say the least, here, but. So we'll see. Look at his game against Castor. Move 30. Yeah. Oh, are we talking about the Miss Mate? Yeah, that was crazy. Miss Mate. Maiden won. Like, just hung it. Now, E5 is on the board here for Black. Very nice. Just striking in the center. And this little setup here, it holds the center. It holds the center, so it kind of stops these pushes. You, and what they say is keep the tension. A lot of times as a beginner player, if you are a beginner player, or even under 2200, a lot of times what happens here is... You, you just take pawns just because they're there or you try to break. You have to keep the tension. Not all the time, but it is good to keep the tension. What is the rule? To take is a mistake. Um, not all the time. There are exceptions, but to take is a mistake. So a lot of times capturing, is it going to be better for you or is it going to be better for them? So taking this pawn would help out white a little bit more. We have more central control. We can play rip to the file now. Keeping the tension, whoever takes usually may be slightly better in this type of position here. The Boris can't be Boris Gambit, he says. The Boris Gambit. The Boris Gambit, that funky stuff. Bishop c4, knight f8, d5. Takes. This is not going to work, right? Yeah, I just have queen g7. 
So in the meantime, maybe taking a knight g5. But then he has knight e6, yeah. To take is a mistake, right? But you still want to open this file, though. And now it's now it's open. I mean, now it's closed. So now this is our pawn break. Whoever controls the pawn breaks controls the game. So knight g5, rook f1, g3, and f4. We have to play f4. As soon as we get f4 in, this game could be over. Knight g5, g3, rook f1, f4. So there's g3. Okay. Oh, snap. Yeah, you can't play knight g5 now. I probably should have played it first, to be honest. Now is there's trades. But this bishop would happily trade for this one due to my pawns being kind of ugly here. Playing b3 now. b5 looks like it's coming eventually after rook b8. Maybe stopping him. He plays knight here instead. This one is weird. Knight g5 is more aggressive. I mean, you did have knight h7, but this one was a little bit more aggressive. Black's definitely... Yeah, he's not going for that plan no more. I don't know what he's trying to play now. F4 does not look like it's going to be played anymore. We're playing all on the queen side. All the play is on this side of the board now. Knight c4 looks like the best or the next move. Hitting d6 and the a5 pawn at the same time here. Minute 20 here versus two minutes. This is one second increment. Not bad timing. Not bad timing by either party. King g2 is more of a consolidation move at the same time. It's just making things nice and protected around these squares in the other way. Getting your king off the back rank from any checks um, from sometimes having tempo or tempi. Knight f6 a good move. Knight g4 for an outpost, but not a permanent one because we can be kicked. Now the pawn hangs, and this one doesn't. I'm defended. So we, maybe we'll bring the rook here, but he could always just, you know, trade it. Maybe we want to trade. I mean, aren't we up a pawn now? Three, six, three, six, seven. Yeah, we're up a pawn now. So being up a pawn, I mean, you could trade. But again, to take is a mistake. So he's waiting for him to take so that we can have the file. So he says, nah, bro, you got to get off this file. You have to do something. So he gets him off the file. Rook to b8. Absolutely. Try to trade, trade, I guess. Trade when you're up, not when you're down is the general rule. But when you're down a pawn, it's not that bad. It's really not that bad, especially not at all. In some cases, it's real bad. But here, it's not that bad. We can't break just yet. If we were able to break, this could be really bad for black. Really bad for black. White does have to come up with a plan, a very good plan, though. Not the easiest plan for, for white. Black, honestly, is just trying to shuffle here. We do have sixes still. Six out of seven. These guys lost. These guys lost. Rook a7. Okay, that... Oh, that is a that is a move. It can't do anything yet. I can't do anything yet. Queen a1, very nice here. Knight g4. If f3, I'm just going into the into the position. Knight e3. Uh, this is a tough game, man. Tough game here. How do you make progress? This knight is ugly. But if I move it, he's taking. So he probably played queen c3. Maybe this is the next two moves. Knight f3, knight g5 now for f7. Because this knight has to be active somehow, some way. Because it's not active. Queen c3, if we played knight f3 immediately, b3 was hanging. So queen c3 makes total sense, defending this pawn, then play knight f3 and knight to g5. If knight f3, you might see queen f6, pinning, actually, pinning the knight temporarily, because queen takes f2 will be mate in two, if you move the knight. So he plays f3, because he's like, that knight gotta go. You gotta get rid of this knight. You have to get rid of this knight. And he got rid of it, and then he plays queen f5. So this knight's probably just gonna chill here the rest of the game. Obviously, we have no more squares now. No more squares. Lose pieces, lose lose games, Rive. It's lose games. You know what it is, though. That's right. It's from our lessons. That's right. King here, snap. This is, the, this is the plan. This is the plan right here. Push it. As soon as we get this through, this could be this could be a game. This could be over. King c3. Then we need to play rook a4 and b4. Maybe rook a1 and b1. But I think this is, well, rook a4, he has knight b6 now. Oh, going around the back way. Okay. Trying to see if the back door open. Then he says, hold up. F5. And we live. Trying to do what he can. Trying to do what he can right now. Yeah, he's playing 93 anyway. Oh, F4. Wow, the engine jumped hard on that one. Is it G4 for the win? I don't know. Maybe takes. Yeah, you don't want to mess with that. You don't want to mess with that. All right, King E7. And what's next? Well, we are in it. We are in the shop now, though. We in the house. Knight c7, knight e6. Or I could just play. No, he has rook b6. Huh. B4. He got the push off. We got the push. Nice job. Knight b5 allowed us to play b4. Now we have the push off, and now this should be everything we need to win this game. He took with the pawn. Maybe we should back this boy up to civilization. Come around the back way. See what's going on. 
because this is this is something we have to watch. He plays e5 instead. Very strong taking. So now I have two pawns, two passers, two of them, big fella, two passers, my guy. Very strong move. I mean, that was strong. I'm taking this. And I mean, like, oh, wow. Oh, just give me the piece and have a nice day. Can he play rook h8? Check. No, nah, he would have played rook h7. But he he couldn't play rook h7. I wonder if that was a possibility. Because it was hard to get to catch this pawn. It was hard to catch it. Now we're catching it, though. And we're keeping a piece as interest. Play g7. And give me this one, please. Thank you very much. Thank you for the cooperation. GG. Start a new one. Hikaru Miss Maiden won again. Yeah, he gonna have to do some puzzle rush today. Somebody sent him to... Hikaru, do your puzzle rush. We know you 3,000. We know you got an engine rating. But do your puzzle rush today. That's a draw. Come in, it's a draw. Let's actually check the standings. We got 1-7. Only one. Only one. He had Rook A8 and then a fork. Man, yeah, he need to do his puzzle rush. He need to do... Yeah, yeah. Tell the engine to do his puzzle rush. Okay. Come on, engine. Do your puzzle rush. You're slipping. You're slipping. All right. Here we go. H5. Let's back it up. Oh, that was sweet. Are we winning? Mm, probably not. Yeah, this is definitely a draw. But Black is, could be pushing for more, to be honest here. Oh, G7. 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 Oh, my. I'm about to go to sleep. I'm about to go to sleep. I can't believe this. G7. G7, bro. Right here. G7. And you could win the game there. That was out. G7. Wow. And now he's losing? Oh, this is equal. I was like, why is he can't be losing this? Not gonna miss mate. Yeah, I know. They telling us in the, Yeah, they told us already. <laughs> Car miss mate. A second time. We was telling them, yeah, go tell the engine that he needs to uh do his puzzle rush. Tell the engine, do your puzzle rush. Thank you. Thank you very much. And that's a draw. Another draw there. Another draw, guys. This is round seven. And that one's over. Round seven's over. We checked the standings. We only have one player walking away with it right now with seven out of seven games. Seven out of seven going hard today. And we're as we move into round eight. As we move into round eight, Misha Nick actually was six and a half, the closest to seven here. They should build a chess engine that runs on a 450 HP V8. Wow. Wow. Can you show us the Miss Second uh, Maiden one? Well, you can actually go check that yourself there. Actually, you can actually just go to Hikaru's last archives in his games. You can check that. We are going to move forward here, though. Knight B to D7. Knight takes C4. And, uh, yeah, this is um, this is theory, but what kind? I know Misha Nick. Well, this is some type of so C3 Sicilian now. As a transposition, but this was a weird opening. Very weird. He has like a Scandinavian type setup. Sorta. Sort of. Ooh, F3. I don't like this move that much. I mean, like, as in, like, generally, but here, that's a strong move. Right here, F3 was sweet. Because now you could play E4, have a big boy center here. That was sweet. I don't think E4 right now. Do you have any other moves? Yeah, because that was ugly looking. You know, he had to have something else. Because that's ugly. That's real ugly right there. Man, that's ugly. Uh, I get it. G8 then loses the bishop. Respect the Scandi. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't tell that to Greg. Greg in the chat like, ban him. Knight F2. F4, F5. Knight d3, knight c5, knight f4. I mean, white has an interesting position. I just hate these double pawns. If queens were on the board, it'd be easier. But these are huge weaknesses. I mean, g6 points that out. But we can defend it. It's not like you can get it very quickly. And, and yeah, there is f4, right? It, there's not like you can break this up right now. Yeah, you can. You can play f6, but then that, that undoubles me. So, like, thank you, right? Bishop b3 looks strong, but knight c4 is annoying. Hitting, it's actually not hitting b2. So maybe you could play this. Maybe you could get away with it, but you don't want to give him this extra tempo. Like, for what, right? Really, for what? Plays knight c5 instead with bishop e6, trying to take this bishop on e6. Bishop c4, very strong move, getting it off of the e6 square. We're going to play e6 ourselves, put our pawns on the light squares. If we trade this bishop, you want to put the pawns on the opposite color of the bishop that you uh, that you trade, or the same color of the bishop that you traded. So if I trade my light square bishop, I'm gonna put my pawns on the light squares 
so that my bishop can be an extreme monster throughout the rest of the game here. You have a choice. Take it or not to take is the question. To take is a mistake many times, but in this case, there are exceptions in chess. Maybe taking and followed by b3. Yeah, we do have an x-ray, but we do get this tempo that we can use maybe for our bishop. Maybe putting it on b2 or kicking his knight because he's in our territory, which is extremely annoying. Extremely annoying. So bishop takes, knight takes, maybe b3. Kick him away. He doesn't have many squares anyway. Plays b3 first. b3 first, but I, I mean, yeah, I guess. Kind of the same. I guess it's the same. So what he's saying is, what he's saying is, I have an extra. That was smart. That was very smart. And the reason being is because now it's the same position, but at least I have a rook on f1 now. Instead of my rook on h1, it would have been captures and then b3, and then he would go back. But there, it would be my rook on h1. So he played b3 first. So after captures, my rook is on f1 with the knight still on b6. So I didn't have to kick it at all. Very smart. They call that reverse move order. That's Jedi code number seven thousand and eighty-seven. You got all the Jedi codes. That's right, right? You're right. That's right. Really can't see for real. Doing a wonderful job. Full of energy. Talking to chat. Almost funny. Yeah, thanks, bro. The force is good with us. Absolutely. Over here. Force is strong with us. The force is very strong. Knight to D3. King E2. F6 again. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good in all areas, actually. This was a very nice setup, though. I do like this decision by Black here of shutting down White's Bishop. You also can't play B4 unless you have this here, but that could always be parried easily by King B7. Uh, yeah, yeah, Roop, you already know, 7,087, that's right, Roop, come on now, Bishop B2, that's a good move, F5, G4, yeah, this was great, this was great by Black, I mean, that was sweet, I mean, he, he neutralized a lot there, he neutralized a lot, <laughs> he, you gotta study the manual, Kong Garu, that's right, bro, you gotta study the manual, big fella, Rook C4, hit him, hit him, yeah, Black's very active, and he has this very strong thing going on, now, he, uh, it looks like he's very active. Let's take that back there. Because his bishop's actually pretty gross. Pretty gross. And then you have to ask yourself, how do you get it active? On the contrary, what does white do as a plan? Maybe f5. You, I mean, you got to push these. Hope for the best. Maybe get the h file open. Try to get to the 7th rank. That could be a possibility. You should. I have a copy. That's right, Jackie. Alien has a copy himself. Yes, sir. That's right. That's right, big fella. He did play f6, so now that it's broken here, do you prefer white or black is the question here. That's a good question. Hmm. That's a good question here. Well, engine seems to think it's equal to. I like the bishop in in games, of course, especially if you open it. Now after f5, I don't like it that much, but there are targets. e5, yeah, you got to play that. You got to play that. Shut it down. Shut it down, right? And now are we just going to shuffle? He played king d2 instead. Apparently that was really bad. For some reason, but not really bad. It's still equal. It just shifted the black side, though. I'm assuming bishop h6, g3, g5, 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 rook f1. Okay, bishop h6, yes, yeah, there, g3 or rook f1. One of these moves, and then g5. So g3, g5, rook f1. I think I'm okay, right? I should be fine after that. Yeah, there's not more. You can't pressure me anymore. I'm also threatening to take on g5 and take on f5. He played rook c4. Wow. So he expected, uh, he might have pre-moved that. He expected g3. He moved that so fast. Luckily, that it wasn't hanging. Luckily, it wasn't hanging. I don't think he expected rook c4, though. I don't think he expected that at all. You'd rather be black here? Such fantastic internet commentary. Thanks, Wave Mo. We in here. Let's go. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much. Let's actually check the standings. Anything change? Seven and a half out of eight. Nice job here. Seven and a half out of eight. Where's Hikaru at, guys? Oh, he's right here. Oh, I just saw him. He's right here. Number 13, six out of seven. Then we have Min Lee, the strongest international master in the world. Six and a half out of eight. And uh, Hikaru, seven out of eight. Oh, Hikaru just won. So cool. He's seven out of eight. Good job, Hikaru. Coming back out of there after having two draws. Uh, ooh, can I take this? I can't really take that. I can't afford to take that. Because after pawn takes, I have to move the knight, the pawn hangs. Yeah, I mean, it's some things you just can't do. Oh, Hikaru lost one? No, he got two draws. He got two draws. That's how he got seven out of eight. Yeah, he got two draws. No loses, no losses for him today. No losses. Great chess. Great chess, right? Some great chess. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that was a pawn. That was a pawn. That was a full pawn. A full pawn. That was a full pawn, my guy. Sorry, two draws. Yeah, it's all good. All good, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened there? Did he drop a piece? 
I looked away for half a second. He just dropped a piece. He jumped off the deep end. Somebody get him. This is a family channel. Oh, my goodness. That is not a move. Send a stretcher to his address. We have it on file. He did it. What is he doing? What, what was he doing? I don't know. Question marks in the chat. Absolutely, wave mode. I don't know either. Oh, my goodness. This hurts. Give me everything. Everything must go. Everything must go. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Just move it. It doesn't matter. This is tilt mode. When you're mad like that, I mean, who else does that, right? When you're mad, when you get pissed, and you just start moving pieces now. You know what? I'm going to just lose. Just move all my pieces fast. Yeah, we all do that. I've done it. I'm sure you've done it as well. Pressure got to him. Yeah, it could have been that. It could have been time. Sometimes you've seen ghosts. It could have been many things, right? But that was a blunder, and that was not a move. So we do have a few more games left in this round. Jospum, very strong. Not doing the greatest. He still has six out of, well, it's, it's still the eighth round. So he still has six right now. But, I mean, Jospum's really strong. So let's see. Let's see what he does. Let's see if he can figure this out. I thought G5 was a move. And then take and then play King G4. G5, that's cool. I actually thought that was a real move, too. G5. I'm playing, yeah, bro, he threw it. Yeah, he threw it. Takes, takes, rook takes, king g4 anyway. Oh, so you had to play king g4. Oh, that's not mate. Oh, I thought that was mate. Oh, that's not mate, though. King g4, king h4. Uh, Ooh, that's a nasty-looking pawn. That's scary. Dang, you had to go back, huh? Maybe you could have went here, though. It's winning. Rook here. Rook here. Rook here, threatening mate. And then rook h8. And then rook c7. Can you just play g7? Yeah, rook c7, though. That's fine. Just snagged the pawn. Don't, don't worry about it no more. And come back down here. Hit him with a check. Flex real hard. King f6 is mate. Uh, maybe push this one? Nope, not yet. Don't have time to. He played g7. Oh, he flagged. GG, Jospin. GG, you pushing tight. James, fire flames commentary. You got me screaming over here. Yo, to city TLC. Welcome to the stream. Appreciate you. When I tell it, I go outside. In the forest and scream at Cosmos. Wow. Where is Penguin? That's a great question, actually. Where is Andrew Tang? That's a good question. I don't see him, guys. He might have took some L's. He might have took some L's. We're not going to go far down and look for him. So, uh, it's 576 players here. But, uh, yeah, he definitely uh, having a tough one this time. It seems like he's having a tough tournament. Don't see him there. Maybe I missed him. Oh, here he is right here. Yeah, he's he's having a tough one. I mean, he's playing right now. He just won. Did he just win? Yeah, he just won this one. So he has six and a half now out of eight. So that's not, I mean, technically that ain't bad. That's a good score. Six and a half out of eight. But, you know, for to be winning, to be in the top, like you got to have, you know, seven, eight right now. Like seven, seven and a half. That's crazy how big a difference that is. Point, one point, half a point. I mean, that's crazy. All right, this is the last game in round eight here. This is, oh, is this a draw? Wow. I mean, look at this, guys. This is a draw. Look at this. The king stays in the corner. You have the wrong color bishop. You have the wrong color bishop. Now, maybe, is there a way? Nah, there's no way. There's no way. Yeah, this is a draw. That kind of sucks. I mean, you have a bit. You got two pieces extra, and it's a draw. Good luck against Levy. Thank you, Tariq. Appreciate it. Man, that sucks there. But this is a book draw, guys. Get the king to the corner because the bishop cannot never, it never can get you out. And you just shuffle around this area until until it's over there. So that is the end of round eight, guys. Well, that's round eight. Don't go anywhere. We have three rounds left here today at Title Tuesday, guys. So I'll see you guys right after this short break.
What's going on, guys? We're back. Title Tuesday. We have the last three rounds here. So let's get right into it, guys. Let's actually check out the standings uh, really quickly for the game start. We have Misha Nick. Hikaru actually was seven. And we have uh, Zigogo with seven and a half. So we have one, two, and three there. Seven and a half, seven and a half, and seven. Hikaru is literally striking distance away from winning this thing here. So let's see what happens. Let's check out the top board here. What happens? Sicilian what variation is this? So first off, let's put this on the screen, guys. Has anyone ever seen this sicilian before queen takes d4 that is an interesting one honestly i have never seen it i'm not a big fan of it i don't know what to do with that line i and i don't i don't play this anyway i played the c3 sicil for the kill let me actually put my uh my emote in the chat it's actually the c3 sicilian but we call it the c3 sicil for the kill thank you uh morgan nito welcome to the stream what's good man welcome welcome what's going on bro What's going on? So, oh, I like this knight on f5. I love this knight on f5. Bishop e3, castle queen side. I'm playing it all the time. Well, this is definitely a game for you to watch. The rapid development is key. This is definitely a game for you to watch here. He castled this way. I'm more into my queen side castle. If I'm usually bringing a queen out early, I love to queen side castle just to launch a super king side attack. But, I mean, let's go. Hello, Elo. You see literally everything here. Funny. Um, hmm. What should we do now? f4 is very tempting. Very tempting to play this move. But, I mean, development first, so it should be 3 or F4. It's got to be one of those. It's got to be one of those. There was a draw offer. Somebody offered a draw, one of them. One of them. Would you try to stop Black from going D5? Yeah, I guess that is something to stop, right? He can still play D5. Play Rook D1, that is not good. For some reason, that was a terrible move. Is it Knight takes E4? Knight takes e4 was tempting, but then knight takes, knight takes. That is a wild line. Probably not. It's a wild line. Wild. Rook to d1, no. It is still stopping d5. I wish it was my other rook to d1, but we're going to have to use what we got. We're going to have to use what we got. h3, stopping a potential knight to g4, maybe even prepping g4 ourselves. Wild kind of position, but definitely can happen. Knight to d5 looks... Feels like we gotta go here now for some reason. Knight d5, he doesn't have to take it, but if he does with the bishop, pawn takes knight d7, he plays around the pawn. The issue with these kind of positions, right? In the Sveshnikov Sicilians, and this Sicilian, whatever this was, he played knight d5. And then the other one was um what's the other one? Sveshnikov, Nidorf, of course. Nidorf Sicilians, right? With d6 and e5 pawns that happen like this, there's two things that happen. The d6 pawn is something that we worry about if you're playing Nidorf from the black side. Or any of these, you know, Sveshnikov kind of games. But now, as soon as the d5 pawn, that's why uh, you can't play, like, you can't place a piece on d5 and attack the d6 pawn at the same time. So that's whole Black's whole idea of the setup a lot of times. So now that we put the knight on d5 and there's a pawn here, we can't do anything about the d5 square. There's a pawn blocking it, so that makes d6 not as weak anymore. But Black doesn't have any play here. I mean, this is a gross position, it feels like. And this is why looks are deceiving, because you see what the engine says is equal right do you really think this is equal right now with the black pieces i mean what, look at your position equal what what are you equally what are you equally what is this right man canteen house what's up jimbo what's going on bro you see black's thinking too black's definitely thinking you have to think here this is a tough position you may have to no, e4 rookie one your black is suffocating absolutely but engine engine knows all they see like what 40 moves ahead best lines right but it's um i mean who knows what the best move is here rook to c8 playing here i mean this is a this is a, a very very um stressful position for black like you're just trying to survive c3 defending the pawn because he wanted to capture it you can't play bishop e7 this is hanging if you go g6 there is knight takes h6 he, there it is he takes it so he's just going to say i'm sacrificing the pawn because i gotta do something I have to do something with my life. So knight takes h6, and after bishop takes, now you do queen takes f6. So he plays bishop e7 here, allowing the knight to escape via the g4. You also have bishop g5. He plays that right now, so it's a good move. Hitting f6 here, uh, but also hanging my knight if I take on f6. But I am up a pawn here. And that's what happens when you have a cramped position. It's hard to make good moves in a bad position, but it's also hard to make good moves in a cramped position. And Black having a cramped position, less space, things that he wants to look for are trades. You actually do want to look for trades right here. So it's something you want to actually do. What's going on in the chat here? 
What's going on in the chat? I know he's a fool, Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast is playing Pog Champs. Ooh, that might be nice. I wonder. You know what? I got. I got actually got to check that. See if Mr. Beast is playing. That'd be sweet. So look at this pawn chain. This is a beautiful pawn chain here. He didn't take the knight. I understand why. Rick takes. Take. He still could just take this. I'm up a pawn, so I don't have to do nothing crazy. I'm just going to chill. That's what he says here. He played rookie one. You always want to try to, like, you know, look, what's the kill shot now, right? You know, because I was definitely, like, trying to look for it, but it's just not there. So he plays rookie one. It makes sense. We just need to make sure everything is ready first. Maybe we even backed his bishop up now because we're not taking this. Probably not. Maybe bishop e3, ret retrace a little bit and try to play f4. Slow ball it. Queen e3 could be problems. Could be problematic. Interesting. Very interesting. B4 ideas? That's a great idea, actually. That's a, that's a great idea. B4 is actually one, too. If he takes the rook. Yeah. Is this knight hung from because the bishop on g5? Yes, that's correct. The bishop is defending it on g5 right now. So if you move it, he takes it. So he did. He backed up from e3. Or he backed up to e3 from g5. Okay. So rook on c8 now. Rook on c8. G4 is an idea. That's too risky. G4. Oh, he played queen G4 instead. What is this move doing? It, it, I don't know what that does. I don't know about that one. Is it to play F4? No, that can't be why. Queen G4 did not seem right. King F8. Knight F5. 20 seconds left. He's up that pawn still. B4, C5. He played C5 first. Knight F6. Get out the way. Queen F3. Hmm. Yeah, four knight h five takes. Yeah, you gotta stay around this pawn. Oh, that loses. Oh my goodness. No, it doesn't. It's close. It's close though. Oh, this knight's how do you do this? Like, what do you do about this? Queen takes bishop g5. Like, what do I do? Oh my goodness. He's about to flag. He's about to flag. He's about to flag. Oh my goodness, he did flag. <laughs> bishop g5 is on the board. But this is not losing, though. Like, how is this? It's equal. That's crazy that this is equal. Can he check him? Dang, bro. He jumped off the deep end. Queen f6. Let's do it. Let's see it on the board. <laughs> Queen f6. He had to play f6. He had to play f6. That's losing really badly for some reason. How? How is it, like, losing that bad? I mean, it's losing bad. And now it's minus four. Well, I guess the piece is now. They're saying now you're down the piece. Dang, man, that sucks. Yikes. Misha Nick came back. Look at this. Like, this position was terrible. I mean, this position was terrible for Black. And he fought his way back to a real victory. Oh, my goodness. He fought his way back. It's going to get wild. Yeah, he got very wild. Just, he down a piece now. Yeah, he down a piece now. I mean, this is over. This is over. Man, he was doing so well. I mean, pressing the position. And then he blundered. Oh, man, he blundered. He just blundered there. Look at Hikaru. I tells you, man, he just snuck his way back up here. Two draws. That's all he took today. Chains has. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, he. Uh, that's it, guys. That's it. That's crazy. You know, it's um two draws. Eight, and a half, eight out of nine for Hikaru. Eight and a half out of nine for Misha Nick. Aryan Tari right behind him. Eight out of nine as well. Doing great. Doing great. Doing great. Lots of chess left, though. Let's take, let's take a look and see what games are left. We're going to take check out O'Paren here. Strong Grandmaster. He, oh man, he flagged before. He's having a tough tournament. We will say that right now. Now, he has six and a half, which is still a very decent score. But he's, uh, he is having a tough tournament. We saw, we watched him flag in a winning position in another game. Not winning. Actually, he had that extra queen. They both had queens, but it was like crazy. So, I like White's position with these pawns. Wow, he needed that. He needed that. The guy flagged here. He needed that. Wow, he needed that right there. I mean, because King D3 is very scary. Threatening by check and queening, so... He needed to think he didn't have enough time to. So, GG. GG. That's a tough but well-earned dub. That's right. Loving the commentary, Perrin Dart. Thank you. Appreciate you. Let's go. Mr. Beast and Pog Champs. That's going to be fire. Mr. Mr. Beast and Pog Champs. Man, that's going to be sweet. Pog Champs coming around, guys. In February. Hope you're ready for it. Hope you're ready for Pog Champs. Can you, ooh, ooh, ooh. That loses. Oh, Rick check. Rick. Oh my goodness, how do you miss this? How do you miss this, bro? Rook check. In, in all these kind of positions, right? 
What is the first thing you look for when you low on time? Raise your hand, class. What's the first thing you look for when you're in time trouble? A check, right? You look for a check, and he missed it. He missed. I mean, it's crazy. This stuff wild today, boy. We see all kind of mistakes. I love it. First time viewer. All I have to say this is absolutely thank you, man. Thanks, Tink. Welcome. Appreciate you. Man, that is crazy. We're weird to miss that, right? I mean, that was an easy check. That was an easy check. You had two checks on the board. D2 and the other one was H4. This is supposed to be a draw, right? Okay. This is supposed to be a draw. Okay. We put quotation marks on that. Let's see what happens. That's like Jedi code number five. Correct, man. It's actually Jedi code number 7005. That's a draw. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Wave mode. All right. And that was round nine, guys. That was round nine. Let's take a look at the standings. Round 10 is starting. So Misha Nick and Hikaru are already playing right now. I don't think they played yet. They might be playing right now. They are. Yep. Misha Nick and Hikaru. This is the battle of the three thou wows, the three thousands and above. 3178 for Hikaru and 3063 for this man, Misha Nick. Big boy chess here. So this is a Sicilian canal attack. Usually 97 is the best theory here. Usually you end up taking this, not now, if you did play C4 now, to uh, have sort of a Meroxy bind type position here with a bishop outside of the pawn chain, which is that's that one right there is one for the books. That one is one for the books. A Meroxy bind position, similar because of the bind on d5 with the bishop outside the pawn chain. That usually never happens. The bishop's on e2, usually, usually. So now that we have this bishop, I mean, I mean it's still gonna probably end up inside the pawn chain, but this this is a slight difference to it. I think this is a slight difference to the setup. Now we're, we're putting extra pressure on the d5 square. This can decide the winner if Misha Nick wins or draws. Yeah, that could be. That could be. But Hikaru was pushing tight here, man. I mean, he's playing real good chess, right? I mean, he was. Uh, he got two draws. He dropped down to like thirty second, and then now he's back up to second place with eight. Eight is a big score, though. Like, man, people got eight here. That's that's pretty good. They're doing great. Excellent. <laughs> Thanks, Simon. That's funny. All right, so uh, back to this game though. Knight to d five. Oh, not no more. That was a move. Actually, it was Black's move. So I was thinking it was White's move. I wanted to go knight d5. But he said, not today, big fella. Try again. d4 is a good move, though. A great move. Attacking e5. We would love for him to take. But what did we say before, guys? To take is a mistake. So taking this would immediately launch my knight into attack mode and start going crazy. And then this bishop, x ring g7, sacrifices. It's about to get nasty. So he should not take this. In fact, he should try something like maybe this knight to d7. Or, I mean, honestly, capturing is very risky. So you can't really capture this pawn. And now it's still hanging, but he plays 94 to complicate things. That makes sense. That makes sense, but not this move at all. You want to, I think 95 is really strong, but then again, he gets this bishop. I don't want to give this up. I don't want to give up either bishop. And if I take this knight, he gets this pass pawn. Man, that was a strong move, bro. Dang. <laughs> Dang, that was strong. You know, when you figure out the problems on the board, and then they make a move, and then you realize, oh... Okay, you're complicating things. You're making it very hard for me. You might take a bishop pair. You might do this. You might get a pass pawn. And then it's like, geez, these ideas. There's so many ideas in chess. So great. So great, bro. Six-way tie for second right now. Crazy. I never know when to take when the board is stale and not many threats. Yeah, you have to it, to take is a mistake many times in chess. You have to be careful. Ask yourself, does it benefit me more or does it benefit them more? And if you can answer that question accurately, then you should know if you should take that or not, whatever that may be. You see, Hikaru thinking, that was a strong move. Boy, 94 was sweet. He's either like, okay, you're going to give me a bishop or you're going to give me a pass pawn. That's what he's saying. Bishop d5, I don't think that works too much, but I mean, that was a sweet one, bro. That was a sweet one. Yeah, you're like, oh, that's why the GM, I see. <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, well... <laughs> Yeah, not just GMs, but like even better, right? Super GM level, right? This is knight a4 was very strong. Very, very strong. And knight d5. I figured this has to be the best move. You have to give this bishop up. This kind of sucks to do so because this bishop's super strong. Super strong. Now, if takes, takes, I move. Hold up. Okay. Let's see this. 
let's see this. And you know what's funny? This is equal to, according to the engine, this equal right now. This is supposed to be equal. I'm like, equal what? You see all this craziness? This is hanging. You know, knight takes d5. Yeah, take with the pawn. Oh, take with the pawn. That was a fun move. Just because it opened up everything. But we're going to take this way, says Ikaru. Taking this way, queen takes. Takes, takes. Now, taking this allows this. You don't want to put everything on this file. So you have to be very, very careful now. Now you might have to lock it up, bro. I mean, Misha Nick playing strong. Hikaru is down on time. He's been down on time before here, but he definitely down on time right now. And Misha Nick is no joke, as you know. He got eight and a half, half a point more than Hikaru. The man is not a joke and not to be played around with. So you got to be careful and watch your time here. Hikaru is a professional with that and the best of the best when it comes to time management. But he is down on time and not the strongest position, we would say. As in, it is, uh, White has a good position, but, you know, I'm sure he felt that he could done a lot better or, or a little bit better, as we all feel about our games. Rook to D2 is, is oh, this was our intention. He's letting us do it, but now he's defending the bishop. So he plays queen B3 instead. So now F takes, takes, knight takes C5, attacking F7. Might see bishop F6. Just came from Ikaro. He's not thrilled about this. I know. I know. I mean, I'm not thrilled about this position. If I'm playing white here, I am not thrilled about this position. But I am going to play out. I mean, I'm still going to try to fight here. You know, bully this pawn. Bully this one. Use my use my activity of my pieces as my advantage. But his pieces are kind of active too. Excellent bishop. Files open. Queens, uh, queens defending stuff. Right? You have to play moves like this to try to throw stuff at him. G4, G5. Play H4 instead. I mean, H4 too. He played king g2, king off the back rank. Just a prophylactic move, but h4 definitely could have been played as well. Who do you think will win, Canty? Hikaru. I mean, it's, yeah, yeah, Hikaru, bro. Like, he, this is very 3178. 3178. Okay. And that's low for him right now. Like, he's like, he dropped some points. I'm absolutely thinking Hikaru's going to win this game somehow. Somehow, some way. Okay, queen to c3. Oops, let's not do that. That's a good move. Shoot, that's a good move. Queen c3, queen d1. This pawn's hanging, but this one's hanging. But I have a palace pawn, but I have e5, b6 coming. Rick takes b4, I take, he takes, just like that. Snap, snap. We take some more. There's a check on the back rank, but can't be done. So queen d5 is really good, and we're going to try to queen this pawn quickly. This rook's hanging. Nice move there. Nice move. Good check, good check, good check. Whoa. Queen Rook b6. He was threatening rook takes b5, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. That is a scary one. That's scary. That is extremely scary. Extremely scary. You see, Nakamura's thinking. It's 15 seconds to like 15 seconds here. These guys are both really long time. He loses on the spot. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how that's losing on the spot right now. Is it that move? Is it that? The game's over? Just like that? Start a new one, he says. Start a new one, Nakamura. Oh, my goodness. Wow, he hit that man with a move, rookie two, and put him with queen c5, and we live. Start a new one. I'm about to do this to you in front of everybody, he says, and the game's over. Oh, my goodness. He took an L there. Misha Nick hitting, hitting, hitting. Oh, man, Misha Nick with the combo at the end there. Yikes. Yikes. But I told you, right, as soon as rookie two was played, I felt scared. I was like, there's some pressure here. I don't know where. I don't know what I need to do. But there was some pressure here. And Nakamura felt the same. He played Rook B8, and I was not, it was over. It was over. It was over. It was absolutely over from there. That was that was hard, man. That was a hard game. Extremely difficult. Extremely difficult. Misha Nick is not to be played with. Yeah, he just said that right now. Nine and a half out of ten. He did it in style, too, taking out Ikaru. That's like in style, for real. Nine and a half out of ten. Only a draw. Only a draw. Only a draw, guys. I mean, he playing some great chess today. Who did this uh, last one? What was it? Maybe not the last one, but one of the recent ones. Robert Hess was turning up. Uh, we told him in the stream the other day. Shout out to Hess. I told him in the stream the other day, like, Hess, you, bro. Yo, Hess went off, my guy. Hess went off, bro. Um, but, yeah, Misha Nick is doing that right now. Misha Nick is going off. Let's check uh, the rest of the games. See what else is going on here. This is a win for Black. This is a win for Black. Hikaru had to go for the win. Oh, yeah, I understand. I mean, you do have to go for the win here. Actually, where does that drop him down to, actually? So let's check the standing. So, I mean, yeah, he's still doing great. 8 out of 10. 
<laughs> yeah, well, like we said, you can only drop three max. So you got like, what? Uh, one more round after this. Yeah, one more round after this. So he can only finish with nine out of 11. That's all you can finish with there. Oh, yeah, black one. Yeah, black one, that one. That's over. GG. GG. And we have uh, four games left before we start. Um, the last. Hess is playing now, right? That's a good question. I did not see Hess in this one. So not shocking. Great player. Serrano is 2,700. Um, yeah. Oh, nice in-game here, guys. More in-game for you to watch. Beautiful Rook move. We're going to step up and check and just make trades and win this game. And there is the dub there. There's the W. There is the dub. Uh, whoa, What's going on here? Oh, draw. Supposed to be. Quotation marks. Supposed to be a draw. It's supposed to be a draw here. King h6. Let's see what happens. I don't know why. Like, how many times we've seen this today, right? Like, people just don't want to do it. Like, just take the rook. What are you thinking here? Come on now. Why y'all doing this to us? Why y'all doing this to us today? Nobody has failed this yet. We've seen some failures. But nobody's failed it yet. So let's see. Maybe this will be the first one. Maybe this will be the first one. Is there be a knockout round? No, yeah, no, no knockout round. There we go. There we go. Okay, they have some sense now. A little bit of sense now. And I was, uh... <laughs> I don't know why they do that. Like... <laughs> I don't know why they do that. It's so funny. It's so funny. All right, this is the last round here, round 11. We're going to check out the big ball, the big dog here. Nine and a half out of 11. Misha Nick is turning up, turning heads. I love commentary, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Abdal. Abdal, thank you so much. Welcome to the stream. He called Ruhaka Moore. That is a great name. <laughs> funny. Welcome to the stream here. Queen's Gambit declined for all you Queen's Gambit players. This is a special one for you. Queen's Gambit declined here. It was a draw offered, and they took a draw. Man, get this off the screen. Get this off my screen, right? I can't believe this. They didn't took a quick draw. Now, I understand. Misha Nick is, he won, right? Misha Nick has a tie for first place no matter what. Actually, yeah, no matter what, he has a tie for first place. So, I get it. I get it. But I'm getting this off the screen, though. I'm about to get this off the screen. We didn't come to see this. Um, yeah, yeah. They, look at the chat going crazy. What is this? Oh, my goodness. I paid money for this. I hope you didn't pay money for this. No, but you can sub, though. You can't sub here to chess.com. You can sub. Bishop g5, h6, bishop d2. And uh, now you c2, rook c1. Oh, Hikaru. Cool. We checking Hikaru. Checking my man's Hikaru. Let's go. Yeah, <laughs> fixed. Right. <laughs> you going crazy on the chat. I love the chat. Get this off screen. Right, 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 right. Yeah, that's funny. That's funny. Funny, 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 guys. I understand Misha offering a draw, but the other guy, he now risks now being top three. Yeah, I mean, he's still, yeah, he's, he does risk top three, though. But if he would have lost, though, then it would have been even worse. So, you know, point chess. Yeah, he took that draw, though. He took that quick draw. So in this position, though, this knight is ugly. A lot of times when you have a knight on a rim like this, what do they say? Knight on a rim is grim. Or knight on the rim is dim, right? You don't want to put them on the rim, but it, when you do put them on the rim, you have to put them into, you have to get them back to the center or into play within two moves. So knight to c2, knight e3. But this bishop now, I mean, this knight's gross. Look at how black is making pieces. His pieces look worse. Very bad. Man, this knight can't swing around. Oh, you can't no more. Oof. I mean, wait a Hikaru is nasty right now. He definitely pissed off from that last game. He's very angry from that last game. You know, b4 though. But he made this. I mean, that was a great display of how to restrict pieces. Knight came to c5, so you can never play knight c2. Now he played it. That's GG. I got knight d3 or knight takes c4. Probably b4 is coming. So if this, it's either going to be this or this. This or this. Oh, thank you, Ninja1. Tip about placing the pawns on opposite color of the bishop when you have only one is great. No problem, man. Absolutely. That is a concept to remember forever and it will help you in your end games bishop in games that is so bishop b7 knight c6 looks too much that looks like too much it does open a file but i think it's a little bit too much white's doing a little bit better what did he do did he steal that pawn oh he just took the pawn instead instead of going uh knight d3 he didn't want the exchange so bishop b7 hitting the pawn we have pressure here we are down a pawn but the game's not over um there's a lot of chess left here but hikaru was definitely going to press him here Bring the last piece into the game. Everything's developed. Everything's doing something. Besides this bishop being pretty bad, but we got a lot of chess left. 
A lot of chess. GG. Young says James double. GG. Yep. Let's check the standings. Anything change up? Did anything change? Still, Misha Nick with the first place finish today. I mean, very strong chess. Very strong chess. Now, it, it actually only takes Vlad and Becca here are the only people that can catch Misha Nick. So let's actually check out that game. Let's check out the Becca game. Let's go back real quickly. Yeah, let's check out that Becca game. Um, Becca 95. We're going to check that one out. Because this is this is a crucial game. Like this is the only game that can that can catch uh Misha Nick. Yeah, this is the only one. If one of them wins, one of them wins. Vlad or Becca. Becca 95. So this is like a must win situation if you want to tie for first. Let's see how is this going. Well, structure wise, black has a better structure due to the double pawns, right? And you also have a pawn break, which is another thing. Secondly, queen trades would be good for black. So he did go queen e7, and he avoided like he should because the structure is worse. But this bishop is absolutely gross. You might as well call this a pawn because it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. It's literally what we call a tall pawn, big pawn, whatever. It's not a bishop. So this is very bad. But at the same I mean, there's a lot of buts here. Like, but this, but that, but that. Like, because you can't break with white here. Subjectively, it really does look like a draw. But I think there's too much play. I think there's too much play. Queen c3, maybe knight here, knight around. I mean, black is the one that could even break the b-file open and try to attack this king here. I think black is pushing for a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Yeah, this knight's great here, but I would I would love for you to take this bishop. This is gross. This is the worst piece I have. Absolutely take this. There it is, b6, right? You have to break this open and keep this file open. I might even take this, to be honest, just to have the file open. Knight e5 is really strong, though. So he played knight f7 to trade that off asap asap so trade that boy off check this one yeah yeah you think misha nick's tie break is hot too high to catch oh you might be right sports hefe especially after beating curve you might be right about that sports hefe his tie break might be way too high that is correct well score wise i guess i guess score wise we'll see if they can catch him score wise because that would knock out fair chess on in second place right now I love the commentary. Thank you, Sharion. Sharion. I hope I'm saying that right. Sharion. Also drawing against Fair Chess. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fair Chess is definitely in the hot seat right now. Either player wins this game. He is knocked out of second place there. Queen B4. Uh, Black's definitely pushing. I do not like my position. <laughs> why. Not that fun to play. Taking, I have to take with the queen. Making this worse. I got two sets of double pawns. Yeah, this is gross. This is a gross position. You definitely rely on strictly on tactics and like trying to make something work here. No queen trades ever. This is a very bad move. So you, you can you get this to work? Can you get there? You go. He's trying this. I'll, I'll maybe Rick F four next time too. But Rick F two is the same thing. He plays Bishop C four. I mean Rick C four. Yeah, I don't believe in that. He takes that as fast as he put it there. I don't believe that move at all. I think that actually is going to lose for Black. I don't believe in that. Maybe Rick C2 now. Yeah, Rick F4. I mean, we about to come around the back way, see who's home. There it is. Yeah, we about to see who in the front door, big guy. Who's in the house? We got all kind of stuff going on. Queen B5? Queen D4, hitting the rook. Rook check, might as well. I don't know what to do yet, but it's a check. Why not? Why not, right? Gain a little bit of time. A little free check. King H1, gain some more time. Hit him with a check this way. That's losing on the spot. Oh, is it this? It's got to be. It's got to be. Engine went crazy right there. Engine went crazy. You might probably play king h6. Oh, he jumped. Somebody get him out of here. Get the man off the board. He resigned. There it is. And fair chess has been knocked out of the second place finish there. Nice job there. Wow. Yeah, it's actually not rook c8, guys. It's the, the winning move here is rook to c7. And there was a resignation before it was even placed on the board. GG, start a new game. Well, there are no games left today. But Misha Nick, Misha Nick actually still in first place. Yeah, that tie break was just great for him. 63.25 on uh, tie breaks. I mean, clear winner today. Uh, of course, same score for Becca95. Congratulations, uh, Misha Nick, too. But, man, I mean, that tie break is nasty. 63.25 is uh, not being caught by anyone.
So let's check the, the last few games here in, in round 11. Jospom, very strong player. Very strong here. This looks like a draw. Now, of course, we're going to put the quotation marks. Looks like. Did you see that the engine just went up, right? He missed something. Somebody missed something. Somebody missed something. It was so fast. Somebody just missed something. I don't know if you remember, but I DM'd you in, on Insta for good chess books. Wanted to thank you again. Oh, no problem. No problem, bro. I'm glad I can help my guy. Oh, knight g4. I just want to play it. Oh, man. I just want to play it. Put the rook here in knight g4. And that would be devastating. Devastating. Whoa, that seemed wrong. I feel like I was, he was trapped or something. Engine was like, nope, it wasn't a draw. Four sack, right? Rook was hanging. Something was hanging. If something happened. Some, we missed. We all missed something. How did he drop a pawn? What did he do? How did he drop a pawn? Oh, he just dropped a pawn here. Oh, it was almost mate. He trying to he trying to swindle him here. Come to the back rank. It's mate. That's mate. Oh my goodness, he dropped his rook. Oh my goodness. Get the man off the board. How do you do that? What are you doing with your life? He just dropped the rook. Oh my goodness. What was he doing? Hit the man. And then he just jumped off the building. Somebody get him. This is a family channel. Don't try this at home. King takes G6. What are you doing? Rook G6 is not a move, my guy. Not a move. Wow. Man, he scared him. That was like a scared. Like, I was scared. He was scared. I don't know what he was scared of, but he was scared. Did he not have a move? G5. Yeah, you just play G5 here. G5, check, and step. G5, check, step. Wow. That was a wrap. That was, man. It was like, yo. I mean, it's good to see this stuff, right? Because now, you know, you feel better about your games, don't you? Don't you feel better about your games now, guys? Don't you feel better? You're going to play some great chess today. All of you. All of you are going to play great chess today. This is supposed to be a draw. We're going to say supposed to be. Let's see if they repeat moves. Oh, my goodness. That was... Bro, what happened? Hold on. Hold on. Let's go back. What happened? Let's go back. Let's go back. It was winning right here. How is this mate in 15? What did we miss? Did the engine freak out here? What do you do? How is this winning? I don't get that. I mean, did the engine freak out? King d5? King zoom? I don't know. That's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. Wow. That's kind of weird there, bro. Made 15, right? I don't know. And then as soon as the move was made, it was a draw, right? Like, that was weird. Very weird. But, wow. Uh, shout out to everybody that played, though. And big, big congratulations to Misha Nick in first place. Becca 95 in second. And Fair Chess in third. Hikaru had a, not a tough one, but, you know, two draws and a loss there, which finished him in seventh place, actually. But a tie with nine. So, Wow, man, that was crazy. This was Title Tuesday. I hope you guys had fun. I'm always into my Title Tuesdays. I love my Title Tuesdays. This is like free lessons for everyone, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you guys stick around for the raid. We're going to go raid someone. So stick around. Don't go anywhere. I'm National Master James Canty III, and I'll see you guys on the next event.